back to Tools of War. So we got our latest battle report on the channel and with that we are bringing two new armies to 10th edition. Rob, do you want to take it away? Yep, I'm bringing Abnek this time. Yep, uh -huh. and I'm bringing Chaos Demons. So Abnek aren't in the best spot. No, nope, they're not. They're one of the... They're sort of B tier. Um, sort of the lower end of the rankings, but you know, they, they, do, they do have some teeth to them. I think they're just let down by a mediocre... Uh, like special ability for their uh, detachment, but yeah. yeah, we'll see how they do. Yeah, and Chaos Demons, I think that some lists are quite strong, but I think it's dependent on who you're facing, yeah, which uh, <laughs> will make a massive difference. So I don't know how they're going to perform, but the Demons are very cool. Admech are also quite a cool army, so it should be fun. I'm going to try and just bum rush him, and he is going to just try and shoot me off the board. So contrasting play styles should make it quite interesting. So we'll come back with the lists right away. Okay, Rob, you're back with the Hello. Admech. Yay, let's have a go. Let's first these guys first go. time in 10th. In 10th, oh, yeah. yeah. And my second time with them ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you did all right with them, I think, before, didn't you? Yeah, pretty well. It was against Eldar, and they kind of got blown off the table in about three turns. So yeah. Kind of, I think you're underestimating how strong their shooting could be in 9th. Yes, it, uh, but that's changed in 10th, as yes. we will find out. <laughs> Apparently, they're quite weak in 9th. Pretty, pretty low play count, pretty low win rate. Honestly, looking at the looking at the stats of them, I'm not immediately sure what the problem with them is, but I'm sure as I play this game, I'll find out. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. The opponent, it's a funny opponent, so it might not reflect how like I'd, I'd make strengths and weaknesses fully, but we'll we'll see. So, you want to take us through the list? Hi, right, right. So I shall start with the characters. I have, of course, as my warlord, Mr. Old Milisarius Gall himself. Of course, because why? Naturally, why yeah. wouldn't you? I have armed with his solar atomizer for some flat three damage and melt goodness at close range. Uh, then he has his axe uh, for four attacks at strength eight. He's got an arc scourge, which gives him an extra four attacks that are anti vehicle and devastating wounds. And then he gets another 2d6 attacks in melee from his mechadendrite drive. So he's potentially quite nasty in combat, but that's not really why you take him. He's, no. he's obviously there as the buffing piece. So he, he gets a loan operative when he's within three inches of any other ab mech, like most. They're all like her own big epic hero type yeah. characters. Uh, he heals D3 wounds in every command in every one of my command phases, so he's quite good at regenerating. And he also has the Canticles, of course, which gives me the ability to choose one of three abilities for him. So he can either have an aura of six inches for reroll hit rolls of one, uh, a six inch uh, aura for rerolling battle shock tests, woo, and uh, a six inches aura of stealth. For all units, so minus one to hit. Obviously, you're going to be using the real ones to hit every turn. Yeah, just to yeah. I mean that that, that, that is uh, uh, that is sort of a version of the eighth edition one, isn't it? But probably, I don't think it's weak. I think he got, I think he got yeah, uh, full rerolls, maybe yeah, or been, something. Yeah, it's, it's been weakened a little, but it has been. I think. I mean, it was a staple but, uh, pick in eighth. I remember yeah, it's like, he gave it gave doctrines to blind most of the army. Yeah, yeah or, it did. Otherwise, only half your army got it, and it was really weird. Yeah, yeah. But now it's. Like I said, much simpler. So, uh, and a toughness eight, ten wounds and up save, and a four up invul. It can be quite hard to shift, but it's not going to stand up to like Bellacore or something. Yeah, but yeah. you know, against gen general units, you know, he'll hang, he'll hang out in a fight and deal. A nuisance. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, next, for my characters, I have a cybernetic data smith just here. Uh, I've given this guy the master annihilator enhancement. <coughs> pardon me, which uh, gives any unit he's attached to lethal hits. So he's obviously going to be going alongside his pet robots. As as you do. Yep, so for him, uh, a pretty basic little toughness for three wound model, nothing super special. Uh, his main thing is his battle protocols, which means that he can basically give bonus bo bonuses to the Castellan robots. So basically I have to do a battle shot test with the dude. If he passes it, then I can choose a protocol to put them in. So I can either give them plus two to the attacks characteristics of their ranged weapons, plus two to the attacks characteristics of their melee weapons, or plus one to their toughness. Very nice. The turn, which is potentially quite good, assuming you can make that uh, seven up leadership test to get it going. Uh, how much does it cost? Just to uh, do you off the top of your head? 70 points with the enhancement. So, probably worth it if you can make the robots work. <laughs> we'll, we'll get onto the robots, I won't delay it. Yeah, it's about, yeah, yeah it's, it's like, I think, 40 points without the enhancement, so it's pretty cheap, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, the big downside with him that most people have noticed is that he is infantry and the, the Castellans are vehicles. So when he attaches to their unit, he makes them vulnerable to anti-infantry units, which is a bit silly, <laughs> that's but that's wonky. how the rules that work. That is yeah. wonky, yeah. I, I, they should fix yeah, cause, it. Because he, hands out the, he essentially hands the infantry keyword to them all, so they, be, which is they, so they become yeah. infantry and get vulnerable to it. It's a bit daft. Uh, next, we have a Tech Priest Dominus, which is this guy here with the falling over hat. Uh, he has his Omniscient Axe, a Phosphor Serpenter, and 
an eradication, no, no, just a macro stubber, sorry, for his other ranged weapon. Uh, this guy, again, he's here for Lord of the Machine Cult, so when he's leading a unit, he gives them five or feel no pain. Uh, if that unit is an Electro Priest unit, then they get a four or feel no pain, but I have no Electro Priest in this list. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then he has the Data Spike ability, which I think is mostly relevant here. Basically, if he's in engagement range of a vehicle on a 4-up, he'll do D6 mortal wounds to them as he slams a Data Spike into them. And he nice. also reduces their weapon skill characteristic by one, which is cool, but against but demons. irrelevant on demons, yeah, irrelevant, yeah, yeah, I don't have any vehicles, I don't think. So, yeah, he's, he's mostly just there to attach to a unit to make, give them that feel no pain, make them a bit tougher. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, next we have a Tech Priest Engine Seer, the little dude here, 45 points, nice and cheap. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, he has an architect pistol, which is just a one shot devastating wounds pistol. You know, it's just a little thing. Uh, he has an omniscient axe and a servo arm as his weapons. So his strength six minus two, two damage on the axe with three attacks, which doubles up to six if, you, if a vehicle within 12, uh, is it 12 inches of him gets killed. Did we do? Yeah, if a vehicle within 12 inches of him is killed, he immediately doubles his attacks on his axe. Because nice, yeah. he gets mad and wants to get vengeance, basically. Angry uh, robot. <laughs> Yeah, but other than that, so yeah, while he's been three inches of a mechanic's vehicle, he gets one operative, again, so it makes him harder to hit. Uh, he can also uh, heal uh, units, uh, vehicles in the ban phase for D3 wounds, and he can also choose to give one a four up in Vulm for a turn. That's pretty good. You know, and um, that's a nice little package for, what is he, 45 points? Yeah, nice so cheap. cheap, yeah, cheap yeah, looking unit. Just park him in the middle of your vehicles, just throw out a four up field up in on the most vulnerable, uh, four up in Vulm, sorry, on the most vulnerable one, and just uh, keep him ticking. Uh, and then finally, to try out, I have a Tech Priest Manipulus, who is represented by this guy with the flat hat. Yeah, sadly we don't have, that's, that's one of the few Admech models we don't have, so we've had to proxy him in. Yeah, so little flat hat boy here is him. Uh, he has a Magna Rail Lance, which is a one-shot, strength seven, minus two, flat three damage weapon. Uh, and a Transonic Cannon, which is D6 shots, basically D6 shot flamer with dev wounds. To do a bit of damage, he has his Omniscient Staff, for attack, strength 6, minus 1, 2 damage. Again, just a bit melee, not really what you get him for. Again, his ability is that when he's leading a unit, he gives them lethal hits mm -hmm. on all their attacks. And he also has Defend the Divine Work. So once per battle, at the start of any phase, he can immediately give his unit 4 up invuln for that uh, phase. Just yeah. to get, again, just to, you see, he'll probably be going with the guys with the plasma guns and just giving just them a bit more resilience. Uh, uh, that is all my characters. For battle line, I have a single unit of Skatari Vanguard at the front here. So no longer like three groups of 30. No, not, you know, you can't have massive. They, call, <laughs> they, only come in, they only come in units of 10 now, and honestly, they're kind of overpriced for what they do. I mean, this unit is 100 points, it's not too bad, but there's 100 points you could be spending on robots. Yeah, <laughs> and why wouldn't you? Yep, so uh, these are guys just toughness three, one moon, five up save, basic, in, basic light infantry. Uh, their ability is Rad Saturation, so enemy units within 3 inches of them get minus 1 to their OC, which is, yeah, there, but to be honest, if they're within 3 inches of any demons, they're probably dead, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> uh, I've given the... they're all armed with their standard uh, radium carbines, just a basic... it's an anti-infantry 4+, plus, so actually it could be kind of handy into the smaller demons, because I'm always wounding them on force, so I could squeeze some damage through, yeah, even though it's yeah. only strength 3. Uh, one of them has a plasma caliber, which is again your bog standard plasma gun, and then one has uh, an arc rifle, which is a fancy little. Is the arc rifle any good for these days? What do you want? Uh, the arc rifle, it's it's one shot, strength eight, minus one d three. It's anti vehicle like, so not useful in this matchup. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But against some matchups, yeah, it could be against effective. some things you can bang some damage off against vehicles with it. Uh, and then one guy has a transonic arquebus, just that boy here, which is just a sniper rifle. One shot, strength seven, minus two, d3 damage, heavy and precision. Nice. So yeah, just a little, so if you've got any vulnerable character, vulnerable light, light demon characters, you can just plink them mm, down. I don't but, really, mm. yeah, but yeah. Yeah, so to be fair, the main reason for keeping these guys around is that they do actually give buffs to some of the other units, but we'll, I'll go into that when I get them to them. Yeah. Uh, next, I have a, uh, that's not showing me the list, why is that there? Mm -hmm. Ignore that, right. Next we have two Iron Strider Bellastari I. There's two eyes in it, I don't think it's Bellastari Eye. I think that's the uh, Latin way of saying it. I'm sure, I'm sure someone will correct me. Uh, I've equipped these guys with twin Cognis Last Cannons, which are just single shot, but sustained hits one, twin linked. They say the Last Cannons, hitting on four, strength 12, minus three, D6 plus one. Uh, they're pretty fast, pretty tough at toughness seven. They're seven wounds each. They're basically just decent units to zip around the board, blast vulnerable targets. Yeah, and, and, and they've got a bit of bite to them. Like, uh... Yep. Chicken walkers, I think is what we affectionately call them here. 
Yep, uh, um, for their special abilities they have elevated strider, so they can uh, shoot and declare a charge after they've fallen back, and they can reroll desperate escape tests if they get stuck. Yeah, it's unlikely <coughs> against my army, I'm pretty thin on the ground. Yeah, and they, their other ability is a broad spectrum data tether, which uh, means if I use a stratagem on them on a, four, on a five up they gain a CP back. So they just have a bit of CP regeneration. Yeah, it's nothing major. They were very solid in the previous edition. Yeah, they were pretty decent. Though. So we'll see how they go here. Mm -hmm. Next, on the opposite side of the table, we have Ooh. a colossal 430 points worth of Castellan robots. But why Big wouldn't boys. you? Because it's... I mean, they are one of the best models in 40k, in my humble opinion. Yeah, I are, absolutely are, love are, them. They are They're very, very excellent. cool. Um, yeah, so uh, for these guys, I've equipped each of them with one uh, Phosphor Blaster, uh, one Castellan Fist, so they've got a bit of melee in there. And then I've got one, it's the Incendine Combustor on the top, it's supposed to be. So it's 4d6 flame shots from the unit, strength 6, minus 1, uh, 1 damage, ignoring cover. Pretty decent for, you know, if any demons pop up within 6 inches of them, they can immediately flame them with Overwatch. Uh, the Phosphor Blasters themselves, uh, 3 shots each, ignoring cover, strength 6, no AP, 2 damage. Which is, I mean, the lack of AP is kind of mediocre to most things, but into demons it doesn't it matter. It doesn't matter, yeah. Every, everything's 4, pin, four or 5 up interval. Uh, and then finally, the close combat weapon is a Castellan Fist, which is four attacks now. Uh, strength 12, minus two, flat three damage, so they do have a decent punch in combat as well. I do think, just glancing at the data slates, data slate for it, that just putting like mixed weapons on them is probably better. If you go double fist, or if you go double fossil blasters... You might hinder you get, yourself in one or well, the other. They get, rather than getting double shots, like they got previously, they just get twin linked, so re-rolling wounds, which is all right, but say on the strength 12 high strength weapons, I don't think it's as necessary. Mm -hmm. So I just think giving them that flexibility to be able to deal with whatever gets too close to them is, you know, useful. Uh, for their abilities, uh, they have Robotic Bodyguard, which means that while the Cybernetic Data Smith is leading them, uh, the uh, Data Smith himself has a 4 feel no pain just to give him some resistance from snipers. And they also have Repulsor Grid, so uh, when they save against a ranged attack, uh, if I roll a six on that save, they bounce some mortal wound back onto the thing. Yeah, that, I think that's been there for a long time, hasn't it? Cool. The the big, I think the big glaring omission with these guys is that they don't get the doctrinas that the rest of the army does, so they don't benefit from the bonuses of the. Yeah, army, I don't think you mentioned the doctrinas, weird. so we'll do yes. that at the end. Yeah, we'll go through those at the end. Okay, next we have the Cataphron breaches. I have three of them here uh, with heavy arc rifles and hydraulic claws. Uh, these guys have had a bit of a toughness bump now. They're toughness seven. They're slow, only 5 inch move, 3 up save, 3 wounds each, 6 up in uh, The heavy arc rifle I've given them is anti-vehicle 4+, plus, which is useless here, but hey, mm -hmm. can't win them all. <coughs> but it's 2 attacks, rapid fire 2, 36 inch range, strength 8, minus 2, flat 3 damage, decent amount of damage there. And then they have the hydraulic claws, which are 2 attacks each, strength 8, minus 2, flat 3 damage. So decent all round, decent all round like brawlers for the middle of the board. And hard shift, like they're yeah, not. Yeah, pretty tough. They're tough in seven three wounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, and then while they are uh, get a natural reroll of hit draws of one, just built in mm -hmm. hit draws of one. Uh, and if they're within six inches of a battle line unit, by like these boys here, uh, they get to reroll all hits instead. Nice. So this is the reason for having your battle why line. Why you around. would? Yeah, yeah. You'd why it's say, almost worth say, taking them. So yeah, if they weren't if they weren't so hideously expensive, you'd have a couple of these guys dotted around just to just give bonuses to, to them. People, yeah. Just give them the buffs. Uh, next we have six Cataphron Breaches at the back here. I've given these guys all the plasma. So they all have uh, Cataphron Plasma Culverins. Uh, these are four shots apiece, uh, strength seven minus two one, or strength eight minus three two when overcharging. Uh, and then they each have a Phosphor, did I give them the Phosphor Flamers? No, I gave them each the Cognis Flamer, sorry. Which is just a basic Flamer, D6, four zero one Torrent. Ignores cover again, it's just to stop demons getting too close. It's a bit of, I think a bit of, uh, Overwatch will be useful potentially. Yeah, I think so. Uh, for these guys, their special ability is Sentinel Directives. So when I use the Overwatch stratagem on them, they hit on fives rather than sixes. Yeah, that's pretty good. Although pretty with nice. the Flamers, it's not as relevant. Yeah, with not the as relevant with the Flamers, but yeah. it, unless you really potentially spike some damage with the Plasmas, if yeah. something gets too close, then you overcharge it and they blow themselves up. And it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would kill one. It would kill it, wouldn't it, if they've got three Yeah, the three yeah, yeah. So. Plus, I think they're just, infant they're just the infantry, I think. Let me just look at their keywords. Yeah, they're infantry, so they so just they just automatically yeah. die. Yep, these guys are a bit less tougher than the other guys, the breaches. They're only toughness six. But other than that, yeah, I said the more. The the toughness longer. six in this edition is still not yeah, insignificant, it's, yeah, is it's not it? Bad. You know, it's yeah. Yeah, they'll uh, say any any lower strength demons will struggle to 
beat them in combat. Yeah. But equally, if you're getting into combat with them, that's not really where I want you to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then next we have this Onaga Dune Crawler here. I've given this guy a Cognis Heavy Stubber and a Neutron Laser, which is the big shooty gun. Uh, this is a two shot gun, a strength 16, minus Oof. four, d6 plus one damage. It's blast and heavy. Oof. So, a pretty nasty weapon. Then it has its old heavy stubber attached, so that's, you know, three shots, rapid fire 36, 401. Nothing major. But, uh, say, it has a built in four up invuln save, its toughness 10, it has a two up save, 11 wounds. They're actually pretty tanky. Four up invuln outside of combat. Yeah, or in combat just, as well. just four pin wounds. So that's four pretty. Pin ma that makes them yeah. pretty. How many wounds? Uh, Eleven. So they're not. They're, they're not. The, 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 they don't yeah, have the most not, wounds. Yeah, they're not. They're not going to. They're not going to stand up to a main battle tank, but they can do huge amounts of damage potentially. So they're about as tough as a rhino, but like I said, the damage output potentially on them is ludicrously high. Yeah. yeah. Uh, their special ability is is Dune Crawler. So uh, they can move over terrain features that have four inches or four inches of height or less, as if they weren't there. So they can just little spiders. Yeah, just like spider over, you, spider over us. Uh, and extremely terrain. cool models to go with it. They yeah, make, do have some of my favourite models in in the whole of forty k. Yeah, I think they, they are they are awesome as long as you don't have to build them. Yeah, build and break <laughs> them. They are highly breakable. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm, um, I, as I was saying to Johnny earlier, I'm pretty sure I just looked at one of the rust dogs <laughs> in our previous game and it and broke, it just collapsed. So yeah. Uh, Alright, cool. And uh, then I have a second one. Uh, this guy is equipped with a Daedalus missile launcher, which is single shot, strength 10, minus 2d6 plus 1, but it is anti fly 2 plus. And I have a lot of fly. Yeah, and he has a lot of flying uh, demons, so I'm wounding all those demons on twos with that, which is nice. Very nice. And then his secondary gun is the Icarus Array, which is another six shots at strength 8, minus 1, flat 2 damage, and this is anti fly 4 mm. plus and twin linked. See what you've done there? So yeah, could that so one. almost like you knew what you were gonna face. So that that guy could potentially blow. To be fair, you just hand him in the model, and that's what the weapons you have to have on him. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll go. With yeah, it. why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, other than that, yeah, same. He's other than that, he's identical to the other guy. Uh, moving on, we have five Sakarian infiltrators. These guys here. I'm not going to touch them. Are they? Yeah, they're highly break. breakable. Uh, these guys are equipped with all all equipped with taser guards and flashet blasters. So the flechette blasters give them five shots each, uh, hitting on four, strength three, zero, one. So pretty low strength. But, but shotguns, but against demons it can be quite effective. Yeah, it's, it's, some it's, demons 20, have... it's 25 shots from the unit. Oh, yeah. So you're probably wounding off fives against most of it, but still, I mean, that's still going to squeeze damage through when you've got... I think, I think rather, than, rather than chunky shots, it's quantity of shots. Yeah, it's quantity there against yeah. these guys. And then for melee, they have taser guards, the entire unit, which are two attacks. Hitting on fours, strength six zero one, but sustained hits two. Yeah, I so, think that's the same as what it was. Yeah, very similar, very similar last from from last time. Yeah, yeah. so again, th and these guys are obviously infiltrators. It's in the name, clue. Makes makes sense. Yep, and they have stealth, so they're a nice one hit from ranged weapons. Mm -hmm. And their main ability is neurostatic interference. So if an enemy unit is within six inches of them, uh, they subtract one from any battle shock tests. And if they're within six, if these guys are within six inches of a battle line unit. You subtract two to your battle, from your battle shock mm -hmm. test, which is. Potentially alright against some yeah, units, yeah, in, in yeah. as far as Battleshock matters. That does, so does affect demons. Demon, for, demons are one of the few armies where Battleshock does play a big part, so that it may have an effect. Yep, and then finally we have a Scorpius Dune Rider, which is actually moonlighting as a Scorpius Disintegrator. Yeah, we've had to proxy it. Cause, cause, uh, you, do, uh, you, do, you do have the model, but it's not painted. It's not painted, and this is nicely painted, so I thought we'd just give it a go. on yep. the table. Yeah. Uh, so this guy, he has the Belaros Energy Cannon, which is 36 inch range, 2d6 shots, uh, hit, hitting on four, strength seven, minus two, one damage, and it's indirect fire. So it's a nice, nice big mortar. And he's also equipped with a disruptor missile launcher, which is three shots at strength nine, minus two flat d6 damage. And then a cognis heavy stubber, I believe, which is say rapid fire three, four or one, your standard heavy stubber. So it's got, it's got some teeth. Yeah, he's got some decent guns on it. It's movement 10, it's pretty quick. It's toughness 10, so again, same as a rhino, not the toughest. Two up safe helps it though, and it's 12 wounds. So decently tough. A decently tough uh, battle tank that'll say it's not going to brawl with the big boys, but it can still deal out some damage. I know, yeah. I know this is the wrong version because it's got the guys on the guns, but it's, yes, and the, it's a cool model. <laughs> so good, like heavily influenced from yeah, like, World War. Although when you did put it initially on the table, you put it that way around because yeah. you, know, you didn't know which side was the back. Yep, that is true. <laughs> that is true. This is my first rodeo with one. Yep, so yeah, that is pretty much 2,000 points. Uh, yeah, just, well, I, I, didn't, I don't think you mentioned, just go through the Admex. Uh, uh, yes, their special uh, abilities. Yes. I'll pull up now, here we go, that's the Combat Patrol, we don't want you. So these guys' special ability, so my 
uh, general army ability for those who don't know is doctrine imperatives so at the start of a battle round i can choose an, i can choose an imperative for my army to be in i have two choices i can either be protector imperative which means that all of my weapon all of my ranged weapons gain the heavy ability so plus one to hit when i stand still mm -hmm. and if i'm shooting and if i get, i'm targeted by an attack and i'm standing in my deployment zone uh, i reduce the ap of the attack by one so it's a bit more defensive as in the name protector yeah <laughs> makes sense <laughs> and then my, the other one is conqueror imperative uh, conqueror imperative gives all the weapons assault instead so my entire so my entire army, advancing except move. the robots can advance and shoot yeah so weird. Um, maybe they'll add that although they just have uh done the FAQ. Yeah, yeah and... i've gone through all the data sheets and as far as i can tell these guys are the only ones who don't have it it's really odd mm. uh so yeah uh, my entire army gets assault in various weapons and if i'm a targeting a unit in johnny's deployment zone i get to add one to the ap so i get to do Very so nice. it's kind of an alpha strike thing if he's hanging about yes in his deployment zone which he probably won't be his demons he's going to be I running won't be. i'll be running at you screaming yes <laughs> <laughs> uh, and my detachment rule is the rad cohort which is a really weird one uh this basically uh they start the first battle round i bombard uh, johnny's deployment zone with radiation bombs mm -hmm. uh, johnny has to decide whether each of his units that is in that deployment zone either stands firm or takes cover if they take cover they're battle shocked for that entire turn which as far as i can tell actually does nothing I it does nothing it's no weird. it won't make a difference uh and then if you do decide to stand firm instead uh, you're not battle shocked but i roll the dice and on a uh, three up it does d3 mortal wounds to that unit which is i mean right. it's, it sounds cool but because battleshock is so irrelevant at the start of the game for me yeah, it doesn't, really, it do doesn't really do anything I'll, I'll yeah just... and then yeah and then from every battle round onwards from that uh i roll the dice for every uh, unit that's still in johnny's deployment zone one of three up he does a more room to them right, that's, that's, from the, yeah, from the okay. fallout yeah, which yeah. is which is cool yeah it's just the thing it's kind of irrelevant to be honest i think it's kind of the biggest weak point of the of the ad mech is this uh, particular uh, detachment because it just really doesn't do very I much. I found that with some, like we said, uh, like Tyranids last week. I, I think some of them are pretty lacklustre and then others are just out and yes, out. Yes, this, this, this is definitely one of them. Especially if yeah. you're playing sisters, you basically just get massive bonuses from you wounding them. <laughs> <a lot of laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that is the ad mech. Just a little shout out to Murphy Miniatures. Um, they supplied us with this very nicely painted ad mech army, or most of it. Um, they do extremely reasonably priced models second hand and new so we highly recommend you check them out on their facebook page or pop down and see max is a good guy so excuse me we will come back with chaos demons okay so we have the debut of the chaos demons on the channel um, for 10th uh, excellent cool army uh, i've no idea how they will perform they did really well at the end of ninth but they've, they've been toned down a little bit since then so we'll go through their abilities first so the first one is the shadow of chaos which is pretty cool i actually really like the idea of this one um so depending on how you are sort of controlling the 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 flow of the game depends on the, the shadow of chaos uh, so you always have shadow of chaos in your own deployment zone uh, if you control more than 50 percent of the objective markers in no man's land that then becomes the shadow of chaos under the under the control of shadow of chaos and if you control half the objectives in your opponents so the same thing happens uh, and so on and so forth uh, so when a demon unit from your army uh, within the shadow of chaos uh, takes a battle shock test you add one to the test and if you pass that test the model regains d3 lost wounds if it's a battle line uh, unit you gain d3 models very cool. And then on the counterpoint, when an enemy unit is within the Shadow of Chaos, each time they take a battle shot test, you subtract one and they suffer D3 mortal wounds if they fail. So pretty cool. I, I think that's a I think that's a really nice fluffy um, ability. I, I don't know how well it plays out on the table. I've not seen many Chaos Demon uh, battle reports or, or write ups, so I'm not sure, but I really like the sound of it. I think it's it's nice and fluffy. Um, and then the other one is warp rifts uh, so each time a demon from your army uh, using the deep track ability is set up they can set up six inches away rather than nine so again really mm. excellent and you can you can buff charge and stuff so it makes them really potent at a deep strike and basically yeah, six inches is still in flame range though <laughs> <laughs> they they have some strong stratagems and they also have a lot of ways to to buff their charges 
so it makes deep strike very very strong so uh, I, um, I like uh, so we'll go through the models as they are on the data slate um, it's, it's the easiest for me so we'll start with the bloodthirster sadly this guy isn't painted Lee Ooh. does have a beautifully painted one but he's not here tonight so you got all, bl all blacky um, as you'd expect with a deep striker he's just uh, an absolute unit he can deep strike um, he has the great axe of corn and the hellfire breath I think it is I think it's standard what he comes with sorry the lash of corn and it, uh, what am I on about? He comes with Hellfire Breath and the Great Axe of Corn, which is what I said in the first place. So Hellfire Breath is just a flamer, 12 inch D6 flamer, nothing fancy there. Great Axe of Corn is a strong, you can do a strike or a sweep. Uh, that's either seven or 14 attacks. The seven are strength 16 minus four AP, D6 plus two damage, wow, wow, we wah, or strength 10 minus two, two damage for obliterating uh, little squibbly models, but you don't have many of them, so it'll probably be the big chop that you'll get. Um, he has a couple of cool abilities. So the first one, which won't play too much of a factor here, he has an aura which gives friendly corn demons within six inches add one to the hit rolls. Um, yeah, I haven't taken many corn demons. I've taken a few, so it may play an effect. Uh, the one I really like, Relentless Carnage. So at the end of the fight phase, if you're still in engagement range, you roll 8d6 and for each four up the unit suffers uh, a mortal wound relentless mm. carnage i love it that's just very yeah well done it's it's great uh he's toughness 11 moves 12 so he's hyper mobile 18 wounds so he's he's not he's not easy to shift an objective control five so he's pretty uh with a four up in one he's pretty nasty um, next we have the Blood Crushers again, sadly our, our corn army, Lee has a really nicely painted one and but he's not here so we're using the unpainted ones. Uh, Blood Crushers, very mobile, they can deep strike, they move 10 inches, toughness 7, uh, again 4 up in one with 4 wounds so they're not, not easy to shift. Um, they have the Hellblade which is 2 attacks, hitting on 3, strength 5 minus 2, 2 damage. Uh, and then they have the Juggernaut's Bladed Horn, which uh, is a lance attack. So on the charge, you get extra strength. I think that's right, isn't it, Rob? Well, if, it's, if it's lance gear, it's plus one to wound. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So uh, that's four attacks, hitting on four, strength seven, strength six, minus one, one damage. So pretty nasty. Uh, their ability is Brass Stampede. So each time this unit ends a charge, move, select one enemy unit with an engagement range, and roll one d6 for each model in that unit, and on a four up. The, the unit suffers D3 mortal wounds, so pretty nasty. Hmm. They had a big squad one that could do some damage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next we have Kairos Fate Weaver. This is just a bog standard um, Keeper of Secrets. Sorry, Lord of Change. Uh, we don't actually have Kairos for the channel, so this guy's stepping yeah, in for him. Kind of his, hmm. his head is just having a day off. Um, so, again, hypermobile, moves 12 inches, toughness 10. Uh, wounds 20 um, and he has a 4 up invon so he's, he's not easy to shift uh, he has a witchfire infernal gateway which unfocused is uh, d6 plus 3 24 inches hitting on 2 strength 9 minus 2 d3 damage so already quite strong with blast indirect fire but if you uh, if you buff it if you if you use the hazardous option um, it goes up to D3 plus six. So, and it goes to minus three AP. So pretty nasty that. Um, you could put out some serious, serious damage in shooting. Uh, he has the Staff of Tomorrow, so he has five attacks, hitting on three, strength eight minus two, two D3 damage for each hit. So not, not too shabby in combat, but that's not why you bring him really. Uh, he's more of a, a, a shooty, shooty, shooty boy. Uh, so his abilities, he can deep strike like everything else. Uh, he has an aura uh, known as one head looks forward. So each time you target a friendly zinch demon uh, within six inches of this model with a stratagem, roll 1d6 and if the result is greater than the current battle round, you gain a CP. Pretty mm -hmm. nice. So you can just farm farm CP uh, or farm back CP and they're they are pretty cool uh, stratagems to the to the uh, demons so that's good and one head looks back is his other one this is the really good one so once per battle your opponent uses a stratagem um, and you use the one head looks back ability 
and it increases the cost of that uh, stratagem going forward by one CP. Very nice. Um, then we have the Changeling just below him. Changeling has some really cool, interesting rules. Uh, so he's got uh, a flamer that he can overcharge uh, in range, uh, 12 inches. Uh, it's a, a pretty nice flamer, D6 plus 3 if he overcharges it. Strength 6, minus 1, D3 damage, so pretty nasty. He's not terrible in combat, I won't go into his combat uh, things. So he has lone operative and stealth, and he can deep strike, so he's, he's not easy to shift. Uh, the two two abilities that are making really interesting. So formless horror is the first one. Each time an enemy unit wants to select this model as the, the target of an attack, that unit must first take a battle shock test. And if they fail, uh, the unit cannot target this model this phase. So that's pretty cool. And mischief and confusion is the is the really interesting one. At the start of your front's shooting phase, you select one enemy unit within 12 inches and visible to this model. On a roll of a d6 on a two to five until the end of the phase. Each time the model uh, makes an attack, you subtract one for the hit roll, but on a six, the enemy unit is not eligible to shoot. So that's really mm -hmm. cool. Uh, whether it will come into effect, I'm not sure, because it's going to have to be up close and personal, but if you deep strike, that does work. So that is him. He has four of him wounds, so he's not easy to shift with uh, five wounds. So he, yeah, toughness three. He won't, he, he's an interesting model. I don't know. I'm not sure how I will play him. That's the that's the difficult thing. Um, next we have pink horrors. Uh, I think out of all of the bat battle line units, these are probably the best. Uh, they have the ability that on a four up when they die, they split uh, like they did previously. Uh, so if a pink dies you take two blue and so on and so forth um, and you get one brimstone from each blue pretty cool uh, they are f uh, pretty good shooting uh, the pinks two attacks hitting on three strength four minus one one damage so not insignificant um, yeah and then you can take icons which you, which you would do because they're free so uh, they get plus one to charge on the rolls and they get a leadership characteristic of six up so pretty nice just a sort just a pretty solid unit which is annoying to shift because uh, they have a four up in one so you can stick them on a bat line and invite people to try and shoot you off the board and the chances are you will absorb a lot of fire uh, next we have two units of three flamers um, these boys have had a massive nerf since uh, since ninth edition oh, when they were yeah, when they were <laughs> they were obnoxious. There's no way around it. They were they were gross. Um, so yeah, they, they they still move good. Nine inches toughness four, four up in bunts, so um, three wounds. So that again, the pretty hard shift. Um, their flickering flames is the range weapon, so it's twelve inches, d six, uh, strength four minus one, one damage. Uh, they're not as good in combat, uh, but their their ability is they can fall back and shoot in a turn. They uh, they can shoot in a turn. They fell back. Um, yeah, the the they're not a shock troop like they were last time, but but they they do things okay. They're quite mobile. They do put out some shots. So, but they're just not as broken as they were in the last edition, which is probably a good thing. Uh, next, we have some plague bearers. Um, I don't know whether Plague Bearers are any good. Uh, from what I'm reading, a lot of the baseline units are a bit overcosted for what they are. So they have Plague Swords hitting on uh, three ups, two attacks, strength four, minus one, one damage with lethal hits. Um, the slow movement five, toughness five, so they're, they're quite uh, resilient. Two wounds and a five up invun. So they're not impossible to to shift that that's the biggest issue with them um and if they have sticky objectives so once you move off an objective um they they retain that objective so that that's quite cool and you get the the typical demonic icon which increases the leadership and instruments of chaos which adds one to the charge roll so they're all right they're not bad but like i say they're probably a little bit overcosted. uh next we have two units of nerdlings these guys, they, they, they have an objective control of zero, um, but they can still, you know, infiltrate, deep strike, they, they can still do a job. Um, yeah, they're free secondary, aren't Yeah, they? exactly. They're just, you, in this edition, what we've established is that you want cheap 
crappy units that you can just use to, to, to score objectives late in the game, especially when you're doing the random cards. Uh, it, it can really be the difference between you winning and losing. So some things like this, I would definitely recommend based on my play experience. Um, they have an aura, so when an enemy unit is within six inches, you subtract one from the hit roll of them. They are six up in Vun. Um, toughness three, and yeah, so they're not, uh, Wounds for so they're not they will absorb a bit of fire, um, but again they're just objective holders really. Uh, next we have a keeper of secrets. This is a magnetized one, but uh, I haven't had time to change it into Shalaxa Hellbane. I probably won't before the game, but uh, yeah, uh, I am playing her as Shalaxa Hellbane. That does seem the better way to play it. Shalax is just a, an absolute um, like shock assault unit. Moves fourteen inches. Um, it's got two range attacks, the Lash of Slanesh, so that's uh, six attacks hitting on two, strength six minus one, two damage, not too shabby. And then it has its, um, its uh, uh, hazardous attack that it can use to, to empower it. So the, the stronger version, the Pervain of Slanesh, is 18 inches, d6 shots, hitting on twos, strength nine, minus two AP and d3 damage but it has devastating wounds and sustained hits three. So it's pretty mm. nasty. Um, and then obviously when you get her into combat, she is an absolute monster. So she has four extra attacks with her snapping claws, which are devastating wounds, hitting on two, strength six, minus two AP, D, uh, flat three damage, nice. But then she also has the soul piercer, which is precision, uh, six attacks, Hitting on two, strength 14, minus three AP, D6 plus two damage. Uh, if ever there is a character killer, that is it. Skewer them with your big spear. Uh, she has deep strike, she has a feeling of pain of five up. Uh, the cloak of constriction means at the start of your fight phase, um, select one enemy unit with an engagement range and until the end of the phase subtract one from the attacks characteristic and melee weapons for them so you know she's she's got she's wanted to duel with characters really and then this one is really relevant here the monarch of the hunt each time this model declares a charge that targets a monster vehicle or character you can reroll the charge each time the model makes a melee attack that targets a monster vehicle or character you can reroll the hit wound wound roll and damage roll which is obnoxious. So yes, that's why I've taken her shellac to Hellbane. Um, next we have the main man himself. I didn't, when I originally uh, was gonna take my demons list, I wanted to bring a great and clean one and bring one of all the big boys. But upon reading about just how good Bellacor is, he's sort of an auto pick when it comes to demons. Uh, he has uh, ranged weapons, he has a nine attack, which fire, uh, which fire, which is just anti-infantry, but it does do devastating wounds. Um, you can buff it, so it does 12 attack, strength six, minus three, one damage. He's a, a monster in combat. Um, you can do either your big choppy attacks, I won't go into them, or a sweep attack. Uh, but his, his abilities are, are the ones that are interesting. So you can choose between three of them. So the three that you can choose, you choose one per turn. Uh, the one that's the big one, Wreathed in Shadows, this is why you have to take him, it's an aura. And when your demon units are within 6 inches of them, they can't be targeted by a ranged attack if the attack is outside of 18 inches. So that means you put him right in the heart of your demons and they can't be targeted on turn 1, which makes him... That's why he's an auto pick, basically. It stops you getting absolutely murdered on turn 1 and, and they're so mobile, they can then counter punch turn 2. Uh, so I, I can see why he's he's basically an auto pick. Then he has the Pole of Despair, which is another alternative aura. So in the Battle Shock step of your command phase, if an enemy unit starts below its starting strength within six inches of this model, that unit must take a Battle Shock test. Um, and if the unit has a starting strength of one, it's considered to be low starting strength, and then it, it can gain wounds. So you, you're buffing your, your demons there. Uh, forcing them to battle, take battle shock tests and then gain wounds because they gain wounds from that. So it's quite interesting. Um, yep, and then the other one is Shadow Lord. So when a friendly Lehman's Demonica Legion's Demonica unit is within six inches, oh, you can reroll battle shock and leadership tests. So 
again just a force multiplier but i think he's here for the first one and the fact that he's a monster in combat and the other abilities that he's got so he's quite loaded his bellicor he has the dark master aura which means anything within six inches of him is considered to be within the shadow of chaos because he's yeah the dark master says does what it says on the tin and shadow form so at the start of the battle rounds let one shadow form ability and that that's yeah we've covered that already he has a four pin run uh 18 wounds so yeah it's just a big big bad boy and we saw in ninth he, he's an absolute monster I, from what i can see he doesn't have the ignore um ignore invulns which made him super potent but um he's still he's still the big boy of the bunch um the, my difficulty with playing Chaos Demons this game, because I, I don't have much experience with them, you can deep strike basically everything in the army, and I don't know what is the optimal way to play them in that respect. Um, I'm sure people will have played loads of games with them and know, but uh, that is for me to discover and try and refine. Um, because when you can deep, obviously deep striking is a massive part of the army now that they can deep strike within six, so I'm going to try and figure that out and. Yeah, yeah, just just bring it on to Rob and before he shoots me off the board. So it'll be an interesting battle report. Uh, so we will come back with the mission and get going. Okay, Rob, right. let's draw the mission card. Draw them. Here we go. So for our deployment zone and objectives, the sweeping engagement. Uh, I think did we do that one last time? Don't Maybe. think so. It's similar. Yeah. Last, I think last one we did was short edge, short edge. This is long edge to long edge. Yep, it's that's fine. Yep, yep. For our primary mission, vital ground. Ah, okay. So this one, uh, we don't. There's no central objective, basically. Other than that, it's uh, you score two VP for controlling your home objective, five VP for no man's land, six VP for your opponent's home objective, and there isn't one in the middle, basically. And that actually is good for demons, I'm afraid, because it removes one objective, so I only have to control one to get Shadow of the Warp in the middle. Cool. All right, and the twist. Delayed reserves. Oh, this could be bad for demons. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, basically this one on turn two, uh, you have to roll the dice for your reserves to come back to come in on a three up. They come in if you're on one or a two, they don't. Basically, Oof, that's terrible so, so, for me. So yeah, there's a chance of your reserves failing to turn up on, I believe, the second turn. Is it only the second turn? Uh, until the start of the third battle round. So right. it's just the second turn. Yeah, it's okay. Not the, not the end of the world, but it could be impactful. Okay, we will come back with deployment. Okay, Rob, we have All deployed. Right. We have. Aha. Yes, do you want to take us through yours? Right, uh, there is a line of guns here. Right. <laughs> Move over. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously. Uh, right, so I put the indirect fire tank with the big uh, mortar behind the building where it can't be seen. Uh, these guys are all within three of the uh, tech priests, so I'm trying to give them, give them the invuln and repair them if needed. Uh, just set up here to just to fire on anything that gets into the open up here. I'm basically depending on going second here. If I go first, I can't do anything, it's a wasted turn. Uh, over yeah. here, yeah, over here, the Castellan robots, the heavy breaches, uh, along with Call, just ready to just put a withering hail of fire down this flank if anything comes down there. Uh, pretty much it. Uh, I've got the Iron Striders and the Infiltrators in reserve because if I infiltrate anything, it is going to die immediately. Yep. Uh, and that's pretty much it, to be fair. Yep. So I have deployed everything around Bellacor yeah, yeah, because right. of his broken ability, or not broken. We were saying it's if you didn't have this ability. Demons would probably be terrible, so uh, I have my pink horrors on the objective. Kairos stood next to Bellacor, stood next to some flamers, stood next to some uh, 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 not plague marines. Come on, Rob, help plague me. Bearers. Plague bearers, thank you. And just uh, as a little bit of bait for Rob, just so he doesn't have a terrible turn if he goes first, I've left some flamers out in the open for him, but that he can get some indirect fire on. But that's about it. In reserve, I have got exactly half my army. So I have the Changeling, I have the Bloodthirster, I have the uh, the Juggernauts of Corn, I have Shalaxi, and two sets of Nurgle Demons. Uh, yes. So if anyone, any Glad viewers, notice I didn't present my blood letters uh, during the presentation. They were on the table, but I hadn't actually priced them in. So that's why they didn't get presented yeah, through the data cards. Well. Uh, I did notice this. I was honest with Rob. I could have cheated, <laughs> so I didn't. So I should. I therefore win this game just hey, on the well humanitarian done. award. Yeah. <laughs> so 
We're going to roll to see who goes first. Aye. I want to go second here. I want to go second here. So, <laughs> may the worst roll win. Indeed. Uh, you call that cocked? I'd, I'd say wiggle it. Hey! I should have re rolled it. Oh. Oh, oh, well, there we go. Let's try that again. Karma. That's what you get. <laughs> Oh, Two. God. Oh, fucking good. Oh, hey, no. Demon's got Oh, God. All oh, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> okay. We'll come back with Demon's turn one. <laughs> okay, turn yeah, one, back which has it. been the dullest turn one in the it whole is. of history. It's downright thrilling, though. You're about. Um, so, I... I, Rob t kindly told me his threat range of his guns and his movement so I have basically just kept my guys out of that range and within range of Bellicor's six inch aura so Rob can't shoot me turn one so the plague burst, uh, plague burst crawlers, the plague bearers uh, I've just edged up about three inches, flame is the same Kairos fate weaver hasn't moved and these guys have just moved slightly all within the range the flamers that were here they have a nice uh, eight or nine inch move i can't remember what it is and then i hot rolled a six to advance which is rare normally it's a one hmm. so they yeah, managed to get on that objective won't play a part this turn but it probably will do next turn because it means rob has to come for them although he's going to try and indirect fire me that is the only thing he can shoot this turn we would think Right. So, uh, all right. Just very quickly, uh, we just did the rad bon rad bombardment for Admec at the beginning of the turn. Uh, Johnny chose to have all the units in his deployment zone just be battle shocked. Because why not? Yeah, because he doesn't really do anything. He's not using any strats on them, and I ain't shooting them, so don't really do much. And that is that. Yes. Any shooting? Uh, I will check, but probably not. not. <laughs> I think Kairos is twenty-four or eighteen. I'll just check on camera whilst we. Uh, Whilst we talk, but uh, you, I, you could go for a girthy 36 inch charge. I could, I could, and I <laughs> shall. Uh, Kairos, his range weapon 24 inches, so no yeah, you're not out there. Nah. So that. That's that. that. So that was a fun turn one. I yep. got capture enemy outpost, which is useless, and I got deploy teleport homers, which possibly with my deep strike. Um, yeah. We'll see. So that's the end of my turn. A roll on the Admic turn one. So Rob's turn two, just before we go, turn at the one. end of the turn, I did cast uh, the Sticky Objectives um, stratagem on these guys. Because they're in six inches of Kairos, uh, Kairos allows you to farm the CP back. I rolled a four got to get hide in the battle round so we're on battle round one so i got it back uh so over to rob pretty short movement phase uh i went with the assault the assault doctrina conquest conquest doctrina yeah. so all, all my weapons are assault and can advance and fire okay uh beyond that just everybody just move forward to get into range for next turn just most things can't shoot uh oh, I, well i thought to advance these boys here i'll just do that i want to advance these guys he's going to advance two so he gets an extra two inches push them up a bit these guys are going to advance also yeah. two and he did advance these guys and they yeah. got two also so yeah. I'm rolling many twos so they're just going a little bit further forward I can't get them in range to shoot that is fine I'll just push up a little bit there cool right uh, so basically we all just shuffle forward these guys got into position to shoot at the flamers around this corner yeah but we're saying covers irrelevant because the inbound saves uh, I am going to use my other strat stratagem which means on a roll of one i get to re-roll my save they are a four up so they should be hard shift but it's he's got some big chunky guns so all right those right. that get through will hurt so let's go i could do with these surviving because if they survive i keep shadow in the warp not shadow in the warp you're not playing tyranids now <laughs> but the chaos shadow thing shadow, yep, chaos. shadow chaos cool so uh, i'm gonna start with these copies disintegrator one thing in range here is the Bellaros Energy Cannon, because it's indirect, and I'm going to dump it onto those flamers, of course. Mm -hmm. So it is 2d6 shots and blast, which is nice. not relevant. Four shots. Not Yay. great. Uh, Red dice, welcome back. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Uh, pinning off fives with the minus one. Eh, yeah, one hit. His strength seven, so I assume threes. Eh, yeah, doesn't wound. Yep. Excellent start. <laughs> all right. That's fine. Uh, but that's just... not the one that you were, had high hopes on, is it? Yeah, I would have liked to have maybe done some damage to one, but it's not too big of a deal. 
Um, let me just check the line of sight. Whoop. I fancy a laser for this. I don't think these guys can see. Nah, he can't see. So, it we got a new laser, people. Yeah, so it'll just be on a Gajun crawler then. I assume the flames are fly. Uh, I would assume so, but let me just check keywords. Yeah. Right, cool. So, I'll start with the Daedalus missile launcher, the big shot. It's one shot hitting on fours. It hits. Three. And now it is a two to wound because it's anti fly two plus. It wounds. Uh, it's a minus whatever you don't care, and it's d6 plus one damage. So, four up. Uh, the one you I can reroll. Re <laughs> the stratagem. Oh. <laughs> and it is d6 plus one damage. So it does kills kill one. one. So blows one away. Pop. And then I shoot my Icarus array, which is under six shots this time. Uh, this is again hitting on fours. Uh, three hits. Could have done with more, really. Oh, that was 50%, okay. isn't it? Uh, and this wounded on twos, yeah. is wounding on twos. All wounded. Don't care about the mine. It's minus one, not that you care. It doesn't damage. matter. I think my save is six up, but my invuln is four up. I could do with saving these. Ooh. You're rolling one. Come on, four. Yay! Yeah. So one takes two damage. That's fine. Say so with my uh, mortar fluffing a bit, that was really the best I could hope for. So, got can't, anything else to shoot? Can't really charge them, everything else out of range. That was a thrilling turn one. Yes, thank you, Bellicar. Oh, we my, appreciate my, it. So my secondaries sorry, were assassination and capture enemy outpost, neither of which I can really do. So, that's awesome. Uh, so, I'll, I'll dump capture enemy outpost at the end of this turn to gain a CP, and that is that pretty much. Okay, we'll come back with Demon's turn two. Okay, uh, Demon's turn two, I've, I've just rolled the dice, uh, so to speak, uh, uh, very appropriately. Right, uh, so my movement phase is sort of dictated by my deep strikes. Because I have Shadow in the Warp, I can deep strike everything within six inches. But that stupid card that Rob planted, uh, some would say, uh, some admech shenanigans, um, could derail my game. I think if he hadn't pulled that, I'd have probably won on <laughs> after my turn two. Uh, but yeah, so Bloodthirster deep struck. He's six inches away. I need a three up for this to happen. If not, I have to take him off the board until next turn. Oh. It's a two. That's sad. No, it's not the worst. I mean, it's not the worst. He of all the ones that I don't want to get. You go with these Bloodthirsters. Yeah, blood, guys next. Blood, blood juggernauts. Three. three. They're in. Just. Uh, the changeling. Yep. Who's on that objective? Don't care about this one. He's fine. Now this is the one I really want to get off. Please. Oh, oh. my. We still have a game. I'll say that much. <sighs> yeah. Cool. That's sad. Cool. Uh, end of your deployment phase. Since you've now moved and deep struck, I will Overwatch with these boys. Probably into these guys who just deep struck in. Right, so I'm have... going to use the stratagem that makes Overwatch now cost two CP from now on. There you go, that's fair. So it'll cost me one and then it'll cost me two from yep. further on. Cool, so I'll get some dice and we'll come back with some shooting. Yes. What I like. Okay, Rob is going to Overwatch my guys. Yep, I'm Overwatching the, the Skull, whatever they're called. Yeah, Skull uh, Crushers. Skull Crushers. Bones, Blood Crushers, sorry. Blood Crushers, thank you, yes. Um, I have countered that with uh, Kairos's head looking backwards or whatever it's called yeah, so my overwatch after this one will you cost two from now on yeah which is a nuisance for him because yep. he'll be relying on it oh so, oh so i forgot to mention last turn i'm doing the reroll ones or from uh uh did ver belisarius because why would i not so i'm stuck with these boys hmm, so this do i you're gonna do your reroll ones for i am yeah i'll spend it spend all the cp yeah I can't. I'd vet that get... one if I could. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's really strong, isn't it? Right, so this is the Flamers. Cognis Flamers, six of them, 66 hits. Mm. Not bad, pretty Eventful. average. 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. 21 hits, six. toughness seven, so it'll be one on fives. Fives, yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I mean, 18, 21. Could hurt. So this is winning on fives. Voila. Oof. One wound, two wound, three wound, four wound, five wound, six wound, seven wounds. That's actually not bad. Pretty decent for just set flavours. 
What's your, what's your involved on them, fellas? I actually think these boys love a decent save. Uh, far up. Far up. Sorry, far up we're rolling ones. Dice gone. Right, I've just dropped a dice. Four up, three rolling ones. Uh, fails four, but two of them are ones, so. Uh, one survives with one wound. How many wounds do they have? They have four wounds each. Cool. One took three wounds. Fair enough. Shoop, 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 shoop. And I have my massive pile of 24 overcharged plasma shots. Could hurt. So hitting on fives, because these guys hit moved their overwatch on fives, uh, re rolling ones for call. Oh, one escaping dice, that was a one. There's a few hits. Yeah, I'll just take out the ones. You did say you're overcharging these. I am overcharging, because it's funny, and why would I not? Let's put the hits I mean, to one, one side. should die as a result of that, shouldn't it? In th yeah, by low of averages. So we'll get rid of all of you fellas. And we'll reroll these fellas for no Ooh. more. Ooh. So that is two, four, Still six. A wound. Seven hits. Uh, these are toughness seven. Uh, strength eight. So we're only on threes. Not All bad. One. Not bad. Pretty I'll good. That. Two, four, six. Minus whatever you don't care. Flat two damage each. Uh, six. Yeah. Two, four, six. Yes. Four ups. Oh. Re rolling ones. So fail, fail one. So that one guy's dead. And then. Re rolling ones. Yep. yep. Don't forget to re roll them. Uh, so two okay. guys dead. So one guy survives. So that kills him. Because he's on a wound. Yep. And kills one more. I'll leave the one. That yeah. On so it's, it's a six inch charge still. Okay. And he doesn't have that wound now. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, this is why I needed my other guys to be able to charge. Um, yes. Did I advance my plague bearers? I believe you did. Yes. Cool. Right, we'll come back with my shooting. All uh, right, I was doing my hazardous rolls as Johnny's just helpfully reminded me. So six dice, any ones? One of my creatures explodes. Six ones, please. Uh, one one. Explode. Yeah, do I reroll it to keep him? Yeah. I'm fairly flush with CP. I'd like to keep them alive. I'm going to reroll that one. Oh, they're okay. So yeah, cost me CP, but they're still kicking. All right, what you doing? Okay, I'm going to overcharge my um, Kairos Fate Weaver ability. So it is. It's going into these guys. Um, or do I go into those guys? Because it is indirect. Yeah. Might as well hit mine, but hmm. might as well hit and I'd be in cover. Assuming you don't we ignore the cover. Of course, of course, everything that's indirect ignores cover. Um, D3 plus 6. So statistically, I'm more likely to miss, but I. How many wounds do they have? 3 each. Toughness seven, I believe. Is he Five. is he paired with? Yeah, he is. Oh no, I won't bother then. I'll just go with. So D three plus six. It's going into these fellas. Yep. It's uh, seven. On. Hitting on twos. Three ones, please. Ah, oh, okay. Strength nine. D seven. So threes. Do I have any straps here? Give me a minute. Uh, so it's four. Go through. Mm, not decent straps. Oh, four go through. Minus three. So oh, four. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. How many? Sorry. Oh, it's blast, but they, they wouldn't be affected. No, it's less yeah. than five. Uh, four. Four. Minus so three. You, you six. So one or six. Yeah, don't cover there. Save one. Damage. D three. Cool. So roll your damage. Then I have some fuel more pains. So two damage, three damage, and then one damage. You did do a oh. three. I saved one. Oh, you saved one. Yeah. So three, two, sorry, two, three, and then one, wasn't it? So feel no pain, so on the first guy, five up. So one guy takes, first guy takes one, he's down two. Yeah, he's then it's a three damage. Three, yeah. uh, so he takes two, one is dead. Blip. And then it was one damage from the last one, which he saves. So one guy dies. Okay. Okay. And do I take any model wounds? You should do. I do no. not. Cool. Okay, that's his shooting. Cool. I could spend a CP to shoot back because it would be funny. Yeah. Would that be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you're outside of six of uh, uh -huh. Bell Call, that's why I could in theory. Let me just check the guns. Heavy arc, strength eight. He's not a vehicle, is he? No, it's a tank, but he ain't a vehicle. <laughs> uh, no, it's six not inch, a two shots, rapid fire two. I'm outside of 18. Four shots, three damage piece. Nah, not worth it. Carry on. 
Uh, right, he will do um, his. I heal overcharge it as well. He's putting his focus switch fire into the, uh, robots. This boy? Yeah. Yep. Into them. Yep. So d6 plus 3 now. Four. Um, strength 6. Toughness 9. So 1. Yep. Uh, minus 1. Which I ignore for cover. So you don't two get up. cover. Uh, 3 up, so same anyway. Yeah. He's all good. Uh, cool. Right. Again, I could shoot back with them as well, but only one of them can see, so it's not worth it. Pink horror is 18 inch range, not in range. Flamers, so 2d6 going into these boys. Yep, I don't think I have anything I can do here. Give me a moment. How many shots do they have? 2d6 uh, D6 each. Cool. Uh, Bulwark imperative gives me four. Oh no, only if I'm using protector imperative, so I can't do it. Carry on. So eight shots. Two, six, seven, eight. Uh, strength 4, it'll be moving on. 3 I believe. Ugh. Not the best roll. 4, a minus 1. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are T3. Yep, T3. Neg 1. Uh -huh. Yeah, 6 up say by the way. 4 of them, yep. Yep. So 6 of those. Yep. Uh, I make 1. Nah, not getting cover. No, so 3 die. Cool. Cool. Uh, ow. Plague bearers don't ow. get shot. Ow. Okay. Shalaxi is not on the board. Bellacore is eight inch, 18 inches, so... <coughs> He'll be out. That's my shooting. Lovely. Josh phase. Yeah. I'm going to overwatch it now, I'm not allowed to, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Is that, I'm assuming that thing, if I charge it, it can shoot out of... Yeah, because it's a vehicle, it can shoot out of combat. Bosh the guys in combat because so his weapons aren't lost. Yeah. They could charge those guys just to be a nuisance. I'll just check the wording on the stratagem. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, not to come back. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. Cool. We shall return. All right. Okay, starting? Juggernaut of Corn is going to charge into those guys. He six. Um, so I'm going to say that I left the instrument of Corn on because that gives plus one to charge. Why wouldn't I? Because there, there's no other reason why you wouldn't. You can't so fight like holding a horn. It's a five-inch charge. <laughs> there's no negative to it. You don't have a leader or anything. So he's in yeah, anyway. Yeah, anyway. Well, just he's in. Right. It's a shame there weren't more oh. of those guys in because uh, they're quite good. I am going to charge these because these guys are dead in the water. Um, yeah, I know. I would thought about casting the sticky objective on this guy, but I don't think there's any point because I can't stop this thing getting on the objective. Uh, they probably need a five or a six. They're in. Yeah, they're definitely cool. in out there. Into those, Meow. into those guys. Cool. Right. So we'll do the Juggernaut account first. Well, first things first, I'm going to spend CP to correctly intervene in my robots. So they're going to do a six inch, well, a less than six inch charge into your guys there, into your Juggernauts. With a no. four, yeah, should make a four inch charge. Yeah, he'll he'll be in there. Are you sure? It looks it'll be tight, you know. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's an easy four. That's yeah. three and a half. It's only just enough, but it is enough to get them in. So these guys will intervene in because these guys. How many wounds the robots have? Like eight or nine. Well, those guys kill them alone. No, the the uh, breaches really don't have great melee weapons. Okay, which is why I'm charging the robots in. Yes, this yep. costs another CP, but I think it's worth yeah, it. you are chewing through them, but it's arguably worth it. All right, where are we starting? So, um, because I charge you, I have brass stampede. So on a four up, I do. Yep, I do, and that is one mortal wound. One mortal to the breaches. Yep. So one is down to two. Let's so two my there. Hellblade does two attacks, uh, hitting on threes, both hit, strength five. T6 on these so fine fives, gentlemen. So both Ooh, nice. wound, minus two. Kill, uh, three up saves on these, wise so I don't have them up, so five fives. Makes one. one, so one's dead, two damage. Two damage, yep, cool, one goes down. Blech. And then my extra attacks, these are Lance. Four attacks, hitting on fours this time. Uh, just the one. Oh dear. Uh, strength six, but it's land, so it's yeah, strength so threes. Oh, yeah, of course, but it would not Yeah. 
So it's just one, isn't it? Yeah, D6, so three to wound on this one. He does get it. Yep, just minus one, one damage. Cool. So four up save, doesn't save it, so one more takes a wound. Cool. Yep. One more is down to two. We'll get a wound dash in a minute. Right, are you going to flamers? Yeah. I don't think the flamers are terrible in combat. They get uh, six attacks in total. I mean, it, it will hurt these guys. Oh, hot. Right. Uh, that is hitting on fours. <laughs> oh, good job. Yeah, strength four. Yeah, T3. So freeze. Just two. Two. No minus. No minus. Put five up. Ooh, we're nearly not quite. Two more died. Alright, cool. So we'll take you and you. Cool. Right, I'll get some dice and punch back. And yep. we'll turn. turn up the camera. Okay, Rob's hitting back here. Yep, starting with the Vanguard. So I have three standard close combat weapons hitting on fours. One hit. Strength three, so we've only got a five. Nothing. And Nothing. Then, and then the Alpha close combat weapon. Again, hitting on a four with two attacks. One hit. This is strength five, though, so we've only got a three. Does wound, and that is minus one, not that you care, one damage. Four up. To save it. Nice. Nice. Go yeah. demons! The endless uh, pillow fight continues. Yes. Right, uh, and then I'll go in with the Castellan robots, because that's the obvious one to do. So I've got four Castellan, so he's got a pile in, I'll get four Castellan fists in range, so 12 attacks. One, two. I could do with three, this guy surviving, four. however, unlikely. Yep, I am hitting off fours, mm. but I'm re-rolling ones for uh, Call being there. <laughs> yes, you uh, spiked that pretty good. Let me just check the exploding sixes rule uh, ex thing that I gave my data smith. It might only be shooting. Uh, uh, yeah, ranged weapons only. Okay, fair enough. Still a pretty good roll. Yep. So take out of those. That's it. Yep. And this is like strength twelve. It's basically a hand. It's Don't basically seven, so threes. Yep, it is basically a handheld last cannon. Like. Yep. So wounding on the threes. Come on, lads. Good enough. So that is three, seven, four up in vulns at part three damage each. Fail two, please. Not impossible. Ooh. He's down. Ah. Just, but he's down. I am going to CP one of those. I don't think it makes any difference. Oh, it doesn't. It's taken flat. three. Sorry, I thought yeah. there was only two. Yeah, there's three. Yeah, three should, have, should have used the strategy, but it would have been a waste. It would have been a waste. Just mashes that dude. Squished under the... Uh, You've spent a lot of CP to do that, though. Yeah, I think it's worth it, because he frees my robots up now, and frees up the, these guys for my yeah. turn, so that I can yeah. actually start shooting things. I mean, I, I, the, my two biggest units didn't get on the board, which is pretty sad for the demons. This is unfortunate. That gives you. Because if I can push you off, I can easily take that objective, and if I could push off that one, I push back the shadow in the wall. Yeah. You're going to struggle yeah. to strike on me. But we shall see. Yes, we'll come back with uh, Admic turn two. Hi, Rob, turn Hi. two. Yep. Right, all the thinking. Uh, right, so I've gone with Protector Imperative for this one. So all my all my weapons have heavy if I don't move, uh, and then uh, what's the other one? Uh, I get plus minus one AP if I'm in my own deployment zone from shooting attacks. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Right. So movement wise, uh, the robots have shoved up here. I'm just shoving them in Johnny's face. Get try and kill all this stuff over here. Uh, these guys have remained still. They're within 18 of the plague bearers. So I'm trying to wipe them out and try and uh, make room for the robots to push around and push the changing off that objective. Yep. Call has moved up to give his reroll one Zora here. Uh, I've dropped the two uh, Iron Striders in from reserve over here, just mostly to protect uh, Call's flank so he doesn't get a Shark's Hellblade in the side. <laughs> uh, and just to put some more shots over here. Mm -hmm. uh, on this side, uh, the tank has remained still. This guy's just staying positioned there. This uh, Dune Crawler has moved over with the Neutron Laser to shoot at the guys who are no longer protected by. Uh, uh, Bella calls Aura. Yep. Uh, this the anti the anti fly guy moved back over here to, again to shoot with his at uh, Kairos with his shots. Uh, these guys have moved over here to put shoots into these guys, and then finally these guys fell back onto this objective here from the flamers. And then Johnny, I'm going to overwatch those boys to try and kill them. So two d six shots. Roll My thinking place. is that I can force battle shock and mortal wounds because. Yeah, the main thing for me is I just want to take that objective off of him so that I can push him out of the shadow in the wall. Hold it. 
Yeah, five. Uh, five shots. It's certainly enough to kill them. Do 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 do. Three, two three, so so. threes. Oof, Oof, only two. two minus one. Uh, six up saves. Oop, one dies. But that is enough to force nope. battle shot. Yeah, I'll have to take battle shot test, mm -hmm. but I do take that objective, so that's not the main thing. So that's okay. Right, uh, on to my shooting phase. Yes, we will come back, I'm assuming. Aye, we will. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. it's the robots. Rob just um, uh, rolled so he gets extra shots. Yeah, on the uh, robots. So the changeling is now going to use his gross ability. Uh, mischief and confusion, so on a two to five, the robots are minus one to hit when they shoot. On a six, they cannot shoot, which would be incredible. Come on, baby. Oh, almost to saw it. So the minus one to hit. Cool. It probably won't make a difference, although they aren't great at hitting. Yeah, they're only enough force by default. So yeah. All right, we'll come back with my shooting. Okay, Rob. Here we go. So I'm starting with the cutter from breaches here. We're just going to dump everything into this flame and just try and get rid of them. So I'm starting with the heavy arc rifle, so I get four shots here, I'm hitting on fours, I'm re-rolling everything because they are within six inches of the uh, battle line unit. So mm. three hits so far, uh, three hits, oh wait it's rapid fire two, I apologise, I get four more shots. I'll just roll those quickly. I know read good, I get one more hit there, re-rolling, okay I get six hits, that's a bit more like it. This is strength eight. So I'm reading on four, so reading two. on twos. Oh, Ooh, a couple of ones. Yep. So four wounds there. You don't. It's flat three damage. You don't get around the AP. Yep. So I will roll four four ups. <gasps> I get two four ups. So one dead, I presume. How many wounds? It's three damage each. Three damage each. No, nope, that's both of them dead. Oh, they both. Oh, the only three wounds. Cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> we'll come back with next. Okay, Rob. All right, we're starting with this Dune Crawler. He's going to fire his Neutron Laser and his Cognitive Heavy Stubber into Kairos Feet Weaver over there. So Kairos is going to use his ability on himself, which means he can use the stratagem for free, uh, which is the obviously reroll ones. Re -roll ones yeah. Cool. All right, so I'll start with this Heavy Stubber. Three shots, hitting on fours. Daka Daka. Two hits. Magnificent strength of four. Toughness ten, so sixes. Nope, that's fine. And then the important goal, the neutral that's laser. That's not what you came for. Two shots, sitting on fours. One mm. hit, I'll take it. It is strength Esquilium, 16. So Four threes. threes. <gasps> Here he does wound. A minus four, not that you care, d6 plus one damage. So I would like a four, please. Two, please. I do nah. get a four, okay, please. Okay, All right, uh, no, he's done. We'll switch it over to the other one. Who is Can he see him? Yeah, should we get a line sight down that. Shall we, do we get, shall we get the laser out? Yeah, get the laser out. That's why we brought I mean, it. I mean, I've enough move, so I'll move a bit further if I can. But I should be able to see around that. See, I've got a ten inch move, so I can move another inch yeah, around if you yeah. want. So it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. So ten inch move, so he's yep. got he's got plenty of movement to do that. Right. So this guy, Daedalus Heavy and Missile Launcher, one shot, hitting on a four. Oh, oh, it's a six. See, you like that. And uh, he's anti fly too, and he is a flying monster. He definitely is. He's got giant wings. So he definitely wounds. And this is d6 plus one again. Come on, far. It's Ooh. a three. How's it? d6 plus one damage. Mm, do I. What, what have you got to shoot that's massive? Uh, and then I've got his Icarus Array, which is six shots, anti fly four, twin linked, flat two damage. Uh, and then that's about it into him. I might, I might put the indirect or something into him. Go on, I'll re-roll it because I've got three CP still. So no, it's just showing off now. Huh. It's oh, a one. I can re-roll. No, I can't re-roll. Can't re-roll. Can't re-roll. Can't re-roll. Re re so it does take yeah, d6 plus one damage. Ah, Yay. that's the one. <laughs> yeah, he's taking three. Mm. Go on then. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna blow the. That does mean you this. can't Overwatch though. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really need to. Four damage. Okay, that'll do. So he's taken. I do need to squeeze some damage on these big boys. Seven. Boys. Cool. Is that right? Uh, he taken one. How much did you do? Four. Uh, four. So he's taken five. five. I can't add up. Yeah. Okay. Right, and this is the Icarus array. So six shots here, hitting on fours again. Uh, yeah, not great. Only two hits. Again, it is anti fly two plus. So both wound. Uh, this is minus one all you care, two damage. So it's one. So two more damage. It's 
take a seven as I originally. Uh, there we go. We got there in the end. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, let's do the Scorpius Disintegrator. Uh, I think this is that? probably just the Belarus Energy Cannon, nothing else. What are you going into? Say. Um, might dump it. Might just hit Kairos again, see if I can do some damage. What's its strength? Seven. We only got fives. Uh, you might be better infantry. Yeah, I might try. Yeah, you know, I'll try and take out some Pink Horus. I can't. I can't shoot the Plague Bearers because they're out. Because they're within six of Bellicor. So we'll just yeah, go, you're we'll out just of go, eighteen, aren't you? We'll just go for the, the Pinkies aren't. So yeah. So we'll go for the Horrors. I just so, don't think you'd do enough to Kairos, especially with this swanky in bone. Yeah. So two D six shots. Four five. Three. Hmm? Uh, oh, it's blast. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, ten. Ten. Yeah. So yeah, so I have two more in. Right. Uh, so seven uh, hitting on fours because I stood still. Uh, that is one, two, three, four hits. Strength seven, so winning on threes. Twos. The only toughness three on those guys. Yeah. All right. Well, it's three anyway. Uh, minus two, not the UK one damage. So four. Oops. Ah. Save two. Take one. one. Does, does he, he split? He does not. The one just goes pop pop. Over there. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's go with the high risk shooting. This is when you, this is the shooting that starts to need to right, come off good. Care to from destroyers. Flame is out of range, that's fine. So we'll just go with the five now. Two Three, four, five. There are two wounds each on plate bearers. Yeah, I believe so. Cool. So I will have to overcharge to try and kill them. So I'm hitting on fours, re rolling ones with 20 shots. Let's go, baby. Boom. Uh, a lot of ones. That is quite a lot of ones, which is okay by me. I apologize, that was a six. I bumped it. Mm, you got yeah. quite lucky there with the reroll ones. You're not kidding. Jeez. Two is dead. 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 Yeah. And the reroll. Now I'll take that. That's another three. And these are strength eight. So threes again. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, not great. Not That's great. Right. So two, four, six. Minus three, two damage. Two for six. Five ups this time. Uh, why is my standard save seven up? Yeah, so it's demon save. Uh, one. Saves one, five so die. five die. Hmm. Oui. Right, I'll do my hazardous rolls in a moment once you pull them off. One, two, three, four, five. I'll leave the. the yeah. You know what I mean. The snazzy guy. Do we'll just count the. Yeah. The, the, the musician and the. Yeah, I couldn't. You'll just assume they're in there. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Right, uh, hazardous rolls for these guys now. Don't roll a one. Ones. No Oof. ones. We're okay. Phew. Right, so no one kills themselves. Right, um, you know what? I'm just going to do these two next. They're just going to shoot this boy here. Right. Because I am I 12. do have a rule. You always have a rule. Uh -huh. There's always a There's rule. There's rules. There's rules. So, for the um, changeling, okay, his ability. Uh, he has stealth, so he's minus one to hit. Yep, cool. Uh, formless horror. Each time an enemy unit wishes to select this model as the target of an attack. Oh, I have to make a battle test, don't I? Have to take a battleship test. Cool. So, seven up. He's okay, I can shoot him. Right, so he's minus one to hit. Cool. So, I have four shots. I am hitting on fives now, but sixes explode. Don't get sixes. Wait, I'm reading the wrong one. Oh, no, wait, I only get two shots. I read the yeah. wrong one. I was reading the auto cannon. My bad. This is the last out there. Yep. Uh, nope. They both missed. And I don't get rerolls. Oh, I'm within six. No, nah, I don't think so. I am. Next to be. Now, to be fair, I should be on a smaller base, so no, I'm not within range. That's ah, true, yeah. Now that's fair. Okay, uh, cool. Deal. So I'll just go into the robots then. Yep. Right, so robots. Uh, should we split fire or should we just kill them buggers? <clears throat> oh, so I'll cough first. But I'll do the Dirt Smith first because I think he's got a little pistol. Might do something. And it's fun, he doesn't usually get to take part. Uh, status Smith, he has an, an architect pistol. Go on then, he'll just shoot at the play bearers for fun. So one shot hitting on a three from him. He misses. Well done. <laughs> oh no, I'm rerolling once for call. He hits. 
It is strength 6, so we're on 3s. Does wound. Uh, minus 1 1 damage. Up. Saves. He saves it, that's fine. That was just for fun, he just wanted to participate. So the problem is now you, you've you've taken less guns, fewer guns, haven't you? But this should have enough. Yeah, yeah, I've got. Mm. Yeah, I got. But the, the less guns just means that I get don't get twin links. I'm not really rolling wounds, but yeah. Yeah, it's not. I've, really. I've, I've, I've exchanged that for more punch in combat, which I think is more useful here. Anyway, so uh, four heavy phosphor blaster. Nope, sorry, four incendiary combustors. Let's read the right one. Uh, let's put. Well we'll, tr well, we'll try and put at least one of the guns into the uh, change link, so I'll just roll for the see if I can do does it. Does that... Yeah, I just hold fire, does that a bill... I assume it occurs every time someone shoots at him. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Yeah. So, you are in chaos, the shadow of chaos now. So I'll make a roll to see if I can do it. Seven. That is their leadership. So, yeah, I can shoot him if I want to. Um. On, I'll put two flamers there. Would he be minus two to hit now, or are we still on the stacking? No, he doesn't stack still. Yeah, yeah. So it'll still be on fives. So yeah, we'll put two flamers into him, two flamers into the plague bearers. Now I'll just put all the big guns into the plague bearers just because I, I need to kill them. I need yeah, to get them out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the two flamers into the uh, squiggly guy. Nine okay. hits. Eight, nine hits. Strength an amount. My phone's turned itself off. Thank you, phone. Hmm. Boop. Uh, strength six on the incendiary combustor. That's not bad. Toughness. I'm um, just lost my. The yeah, app just closed. It'll do that. Why would you do that? Uh, he is. Nope, that is not the right one. I do apologise. Demons alternative. Yeah, okay. Changeling. Two and three. Hmm, so twos. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda don't wanna kill him with this, I just wanna ping him down a bit. Uh, so that is two, four, six, eight wounds. You could kill him. One damage apiece. Uh, four up. Four up, save. Uh, he saves takes, four, takes, takes four. four. He has one wound left. Whew, exactly where I wanted him. Right, so this is the two incendiary combustors into the plague bearers. 2d6 hits for this one. It is 7. 7. Not bad. 2, 4, 6, 7. Strength 6. We're going to have 3s again. Uh, that is 6 wounds. 1 damage piece. Yep. Um, so 5 ups. Ooh, not bad. So nice 1 dies. 4 left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and this is the Phosphor Blasters. So I'm hitting on fives now because of your minus one. Uh, re rolling ones for call. Twos and threes, please. Hey, rolling quite well. Mm. Uh, maybe not, actually. Only three and no re rolls. Oh, no. Okay, these can. are wounding on threes. Two of them wound. No minus, not that you care. Five up. Three damage. Uh, two damage, sorry. So just one, one, one dead. Mm, that's okay. If you have a decent enough charge, I should be able to get them well, mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, can kill, I can kill them and pile in, I suppose. Yeah, I, can, I can charge and kill them and pile in, it's not the end of the world. Right. Um, shot, 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 shot. Not shot, actually. Let's shoot, let's shoot Cole. He's got a gun. He might kill one. And he has his solar atomizer. It is 12 inch range. He's in range. So he's well within. So we'll dump him off so he gets D3 shots with this. Three shots, mm. I'll take that. Uh, hitting on the twos. No. Uh, they wouldn't be minus one, would they? No, he's not uh, minus yeah, one, that yeah. went on them. So all three, thankfully, all three mm. hit. Uh, and then it's strength 14, so twos. That is three wounds. Neg four, not that you care, flat for each. Uh, layer. There's saved one. So two dead. There is one guy left, which is irritating. Yeah, because he can. <laughs> he, can he will stop them. Uh... Yeah, I'll just have to charge, kill him, and then pile into the changeling. Oh. I can't kill him, but I can still take the objective, so it's not the end of the world. All right, that is all of my shootings. So charge phase. Yes. We might as well try and charge these guys into him. It will be a nine-incher. Yeah, it will. 
Nope, it doesn't make it, that's fine, whatever. And then cast Ellen's into the plate bearer. Can't really miss. With the seven. So then they'll just go bloop. And bloop. I can get two of them in. Well, with yeah. a seven inch charge, I can get around, can't I? Am I allowed to move the barrels or? Yeah, just. Yeah. yeah. And they're just battlefield debris, so we'll just shift them out of the way. So they'll get in. I can get four of them in there. He'll jump in behind. There we go. I mean, Bellacor's going to make a serious mess of them next turn, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Also, I was getting extra, I was getting additional shots with their guns, and I completely forgot. You were, you were. Yeah, I should have had eight additional shots. God damn it. You'll kill him anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but I would have killed him then and charged the, that guy. But oh well, it's okay. Probably should have killed them both. Yeah. That's what I get for trying to play seven different armies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, any other charging? Nope. So we'll just into this combat. So you pull up the cool Castellans again. So I have three, six, nine, twelve attacks. Exactly right. Here, hitting on fours. Still within six, of course. We're rolling ones. Let's take those ones out. Take those twos and threes away. Whoa. Ooh, all the hits. Very nice. Definitely winning on twos. This is strength 12. Right, that is uh, a large number of four ups, Two, please. Seven. Four, six, seven, seven, five ups. Seven, five ups, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, he said yeah, one. He did. Squish. Cool, and then I'll consolidate around onto the objective just there. Which is fine. Best I can do. There mm -hmm. you go. So that's the end of the turn. Oh, you do get to punch about with the change. Like I do. Probably won't do much. Um, give it I a go. don't think he's great in combat. I'll just pass you the camera. Yep. Sorry. Oh. Three attacks. Hit up fours. Strength four. D9. So sixes. Oh, oh, he wants it. Minus one. Uh, yep, that is on. A three up now for me. Oh, he did the damage. D3 damage. He did two wounds, so one of them is down to five. Cool. I was hurt for my hubris. That's what I get for forgetting that I actually have extra attacks in shooting. He's not there, he's dead. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. Not a bad turn, killed a few things, put a bit of pressure on you. Yeah. So I'd see what you're doing. So more importantly, I've turned off your Shadow of Chaos in the centre now because I control both objectives. So uh, yeah, see so what you can do for Demon's turn three. Okay, Rob. All right, I'm overwatching for two CP, mm -hmm. which is great. Basically, uh, he's fallen back. He failed the battle shot test with the uh, changeling. Changeling. Uh, he, he passed the roll to fall back. So as he starts the movement, I'm going to overwatch him because I have assassinated. I need to kill a character. He's got one wound left. I've got four flamers. It's a dream come true. So I'm spending the two CP here. So this is the four flamers. He's on zero CP. Beautiful. Oh, that was a catch. Ooh. Ooh, 11, 12, 13, 14 hits. 8, 12, and 14. Can uh, they... Is your only toughness 3, sir? Is it the... Uh, yeah, I think so. I'll just roll the dice. Uh, that is all but 1, yeah. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 wounds. He's got one wound left. That is a two, lot of 4 of 8, 10, 13, 12, 13 and 4 ups. It's, it's been done. It's not impossible, but it's... Yeah, he's no, dead. yeah, he did. So that's causing assassinate. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He, he absorbed a lot of CP and yeah, things. I mean, to be fair, this is kind of my own fault. If I'd remembered that the phosphor, I gave yeah, Foss Blast yeah, extra attacks, yeah. I would have killed that extra plague bearer. I would have charged him. I would have killed him in melee. And I wouldn't have spent the two CP. But that's it. This is stupidity tax. <laughs> uh, so my pink horrors have moved up. My the nerglings have fallen there. They are doing deploy teleport homer in the center of the board. Um, the flames have moved round, Bellacor's moved round, uh, and then uh, we've got three big demons now dropped into the middle oh. of the board. Um, yeah, they want to do some work. So we will uh, hand over to Rob and I will do some shooting. The shooting time. Yes, so we're going to start with uh, Betraying Shades on uh, Bellacor. Going into these guys because they're a bit weaker than the robots, and he should do enough work in in melee. Um, so it's he's overcharging, uh, devastating wounds, hazardous, ignores cover, psychic. So twelve hits hitting on twos. Lovely. 
Oh, too many ones. Yeah, I don't like the feeling of this. Four ones. Mm. You ain't got any CP, son. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my one spigot ability to give them four up in vuln. What's the minus on this? Uh, minus three. Yeah, I'll use the four up in vuln ability on this. Uh, so strength six. Yep. Uh, T six. So fours. And it is devastating wounds. So we're looking for sixes, please. Uh, they all wound. That is two mortals. Five and damage. then five damage. So four up in wounds. Saves Ooh, yeah. so one. So kills one. That one was on two wounds anyway. Yeah, so, so kills one. Kills one and one takes a wound. Okay, that's fine. And awesome mix. Bellicar take any damage. Go on, lad. He does oh, not. No, not quite. <laughs> okay. Yes. I need to think of his. I need to consider his uh, thingy because he's in. Yeah, I'll do that afterwards. Um, right, cool. Who's? You know what we're doing next? Yep, she'll actually Hellbane is going to use her Pervain of Slanesh. Cool. She has nine. Toughness of. She'll, uh, no, she'll blast these guys yeah. because... Yeah, these ones are T7. Hmm. Uh, what's the toughness of this thing? Uh, you'll, 10 or 11. D3, I could... D6. D6 sustained hits 3. Hmm. I'm just concerned that I'm going to kill... T10. 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 On that boy. I've got the issue that I'm just going to kill everything in range of me. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. I think you should do that. And then I don't have any charges. Again, it sounds like a good idea. I think you should <laughs> do that. She'll... Who are you blasting? Yeah, I'll have to put it into this to soften it up. I can't the risk moon crawler. making... So it's D6. Ooh. Ooh. So Most. hitting on twos. This yep. is devastating wound. Sustained hits three, so we want sixes, please. No, we don't. Uh, so that is two extra hits. No. Sorry, three extra three hits. Three extra hits, yep. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Hitting on twos. Yeah, I thought you were. You oh, sorry, I already did that. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Um, right, roll again. Yeah. Strength. Strength nine, so it's five. Yep. Um, so it's one, two. That's devastating wounds. And one. So yep. it's. It's 2d3 devastating wounds and um, then. So, minus? Uh, minus 2. Minus 2, uh, minus 1 for doctrines, minus 4 of invuln anyway, it saves it. So it's just 2d6 just more wounds. wounds. 2d3, I think you said. 2d3, sorry, yep, I did. 2d6, I'll be a bit much. So yeah. 4 mortals. So he has taken a 4 damage, he is down to 7. Okay. Alright. Right. The flamers will go into. Yeah, they'll go into the chickens. They won't really do anything. Yeah. But might do some damage. Never know. Yeah, two d six. Oh, three d six. Yep, there are still three of them over there. Eleven, three, six, nine, eleven. Uh, strength four. Yeah, toughness seven. So fives. Uh, one, two, three, four Ooh. wounds. Minus one. Cool. Uh, no minus because of my protected doctrine, so three wounds. Oh, oh nice. Three wounds. <coughs> well done, saves. One's down to four. There's a random wound dice here, I'll pop it on. So this one has taken a four. So he has three left. Sorry, I count down because I am a normal person. Pink horrors, they can put everything into them. I did measure, so it is two attacks. So we've, you killed. Two of them, didn't Two of them so far, yeah. So there's 16 attacks with them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are saving on a four up, but... There are threes, because I'm within my deployment zone, so my protect doctrine reduces the AP by one. Uh, hitting on threes. Does Belikov give them an aura? I think you just picked the aura of not being able to be shot, I suspect. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a lot of sixes. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference though. No, uh, looks good though. It's very yeah. impressive. It would have been more impressive on a useful shot. Um, so don't, that... down, don't bad talk them like that. They'll roll no but one, sweaty. Uh, strength four. 
Yep. No, so five. Six, yes, five. Oof. See, that's what I was about to three. Yep, yeah, three. Uh, three. Minus one. Yeah, I ignore that because, again, I prepared protect doctrine, so three ups. So Failed it does two. kill one. Great rolling. Not bad. And then yeah. the two blue horrors. Oh, Above sorry. this. <laughs> okay, so I've got Kairos Fate Weaver left to shoot. Pew pew. Where are you, Kairos? Hmm. D three plus six. Where's it going? Um. Uh, it's got blast. What's the, tough, what's the toughness of this one? Um, of the tank. Is it tough? Uh, it's only seven, isn't it? Didn't you say? Oh no no no! It's uh, it's a rhino. You said. Yes, yeah, the scope. The scope is disintegrator. For me, is toughness ten. And it's still. It's still tough. So he's got four wounds. Toughness ten to save. Not getting cover. And minus one AP because the. Uh, yeah, I'll just soften up these trainer. boys again. Oh, I like also, I had a lot of 5 up field of pains on those guys. Oh no, it's, those guys are the 5 up, signal me. Carry yeah, on. Okay, so I will overcharge. So it's D3 plus 6 shots. Um, so it's 2 plus 6 is 8. Uh, strength. Two, uh, hitting on 2s. Oh, it's blast, but there's only four units, so yeah. what? Like, strength nine, so threes. So threes. Sweet. Four. Minus. Minus three. So it goes minus two, four up in one anyway. Wow, that's terrible rolling. Two go through. Two go through, D3 damage, so. Yep, E5 and sixes. One is left on one. And he's dead. That's a shame. But. Pop! Chipping away. Chip, 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 chipping away. Right. I think that's all my shooting, isn't it? Looks like it. Yeah. So, we'll do charges. Um, you c I'll put, I will put the pink horrors in as well, just for the sake. So, Bellicor's guaranteed, isn't it? It gets a seven. Yep, so. Pink horrors are guaranteed, but I'll roll six. Six, yeah. yeah. So they can get round. It always be the barrels out of the way. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're a yep. nuisance. Yep. Right. Ah, uh, sorry, Bellacar can't get in because there's a barrel in the way. <coughs> <laughs> so he needs a nine. These are all nines, but I need to think about it. I think I'm going to put Shalaxi into that vehicle, which is slightly bigger. It's a ten. Yep. <laughs> Uh, she does get re-roll charges on. Right, we'll do the bloodthirster first. So needs a nine. Does the bloodthirster get any? I'll do Shalaxi first, actually. Okay, Might as well. Nine, so no, ten. Right. Oof. Uh, she does get the re-roll or inherent re-roll because it's a vehicle. No. Nope. Staying there. Who's next? Uh, Kairos nine. Is he going into the breaches? Yep. Nope. And then the Bloodthirster, I will. Nine. This is the problem with deep strikes. Oof. I will use a command CP. Yep, worth a try there. <gasps> no. Oh, oh that's god, that's okay. hideous. That is hideous. That oh, keeps me in the game again. Yeah, you've been lucky. Four guy and ginormous ones. Now, how many of these things can Bellico kill? What's the question? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I will take the objective and give Shadow in the warp. That's. I don't unless, think... unless you completely bounce and don't kill any of them, but let's be honest, that's not too likely. Not with Bellacor, I think <laughs> he's... The only sad bit is he doesn't have his uh, his thing anymore. So we can roll straight into combat. Roll, roll, roll. What's the, what's the toughness of the bots? Nine. Bellacor, Bellacor, Bellacor. Yeah, right. So I'm sure they'll be fine. Look six attacks. No problems. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Uh, oh, oh, I moved my CP dice. I think, I think I'm on three. I think. Uh, I have been kind of counting on here. Let me just check. Yeah, you're on three. Yeah. I've got you on three. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Cool. Um, right. Yo, come on, we can't stay at attention any longer. Did I use... I didn't use a, a re-roll. Oh, no, I won't be able to use two re-rolls, will I? Not in the same phase, no. No, I was just thinking, because Kairos has got the free spell. But he wouldn't be able to... Let me just check the strats. Oops, so we'll, we'll yeah, we'll just... And then we'll, back. Yeah, just before we... All right, so... Yeah, so no, nothing, there was no... Uh, ways I could work that around yep. to get another re-roll. So, Bellacore, call. let's see what you can do. Bounce, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, six attacks. Yep. Hitting on twos, lethal hit. So, we want to see sixes. No, we don't. Whoa, oh, we not get bad. two and one fail. So, those two also wound. Yep. Uh, these three are strength 14. T9, so threes. So threes. <gasps> Ooh, oh. Or five. So five wounds, minus four. Yep, I do get a five pin on these lads. You need to fail these, please. No, I make two. I can't re-roll them, so no. I make two. Damage? So, damage D6 plus one. Cool, one, first one's on five, so. So. <laughs> first one's on three. Yep. That's one's dead. dead. Yep. And then I need a good roll. Yep, I think they are like eight wounds each, so. No, I need a very good roll. So, so four. three, four, so one, yeah. One's dead, one's taken four. Not terrible. He goes down, I think uh, this one's on four. I'll double check their wounds in a second. The other, I think they had nine. Either eight or nine, so I'll check in a second. All right. So. Uh, oh no, the seven wounds, I'm, I'm a dirty, dirty liar. So he took four, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, so he's on three. I'm a horrible liar, I apologize, there we go. Cool. So then we have eight attacks. I don't think it's gonna kill him. He's the little guys now. Six. Yep. Um, oh, going. Hit on fours. It's trying for like four. Three. Yeah, so sixes. Two wounds. Two up safe? Mm, no minus? Yep, yep, yep. Nice, fine. No. And then blue, two blue claws. Hit on fives. No. Nope. And then I'm in it. And that is my combat, you get to hit back. Yeah, uh, I'll punch back over there, I'll get some dice and we'll come back. Hey Rob, you're right, attacking yeah. Bellacore. So all the cast on robots into Bellacore probably won't kill him, but we'll give it a go. I mean, I'd be sad if it does. <laughs> yeah, so I get nine attacks with the face, uh, you know, fours, re-rolling ones for core. Threes and twos. Uh, huh, 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 huh. That's not, that's a distinct lack of ones, very disappointing. Yeah. But I'm strength 12, so I'm winning on threes. Ones and twos. Uh, that's four go through. Uh, minus two flat three damage. I will use the stratagem because why not? To reroll ones. To reroll yeah. ones just is so good. It just seems silly not to. So four ups, ones rerolling. Oh. So it's four. It. So yeah. three damage. Nice. Uh, and then I've just got the data smith who is in who is very unlucky in combat with the horrors. I'm sure he's massively effective in combat with his <laughs> power. Oh, he's got a power fist. That's not bad, actually. Two attacks hitting on threes. Sorry, go on. Rerolling ones. Uh, no, there's a two, of course. <laughs> uh, strength eight, so winning on twos. Definitely. Yeah, one goes through. Minus two, two down. <laughs> Four up. Save it. It punches. Annoying, right yeah, it. and it just goes through his stomach. Okay, that is a very sad end to my turn. Um, Once again, keeps me in the game. Yeah, I should have. <coughs> yeah, you've been lucky, or I've been unlucky. I don't know how I describe it. Those charges, I the yeah, the nine inch charges are, uh, are horrible. Like I said that's why I put everything into pu pushing Johnny off the objectives last turn so that he couldn't come in within six. Yeah, I do have shadow it in the warp now. Do you have to do any? Um, Battle test, it'll be giving you the command first. Yeah. We'll come back with turn three. Yeah, we'll okay, Rob, turn right, three. Yeah, movement done. So, pretty simple. I've gone with protector, de uh, protector doctrine again, so I'm heavy for everything that doesn't move. Yep, makes sense. All these guys are just remaining stationary to try and get some shots into some nasty looking great demons. 
Uh, these guys up here passed the battle shop test and just moved over to control that objective. These guys have moved across to try and body block this as much as I can, this horrifying mess here. Mm. Uh, these guys have also moved across to body block the horrifying mess there. Sacrifice their lives. Uh, Call. I was doing the reroll once to hit again. He's moved up to within range of Bellacore with his solar atomizer. So I'll try and get some shots in on Bellacore and then charge in and beat up some horrors. Castellans have stayed in combat. They're going to shoot various things because it's their vehicles that can shoot in out of combat. Boss whatever they can. And then these guys have moved up to shoot, also shoot Bellacore with their last cannons. Let's see yes. if we can take him down. Hopefully not. We shall see. So, that's everything for movement, so shooting phase. I will start with... Shall we just go across this way? Start with this boy. He's just put everything into the Kairos Fate Weaver. Okay. With his anti-fly stuff. So... Here we go. Daedalus Missile Launcher. One shot, hitting on a three. Let's go! Excellent start. He hits. Mm -hmm. He's wounding on a two, anti-fly. He wounds. Uh, you don't care about the minus, it's d6 plus one damage. Yep. Four up. Uh, do I command reroll it? I shall because it's a free command reroll with Kairos. Uh, so. Four up. Oh, <laughs> alright. D6 plus one. It's gonna hurt. Three damage. Hmm. I'm really rolling low on those. But Three second that ten. Has he eight wounds left now? I think he might be twenty you know. Yeah. Alright, let's go with the Chris Array then. This is six shots hitting on threes. Like trying to play with his dice. Yep. <clears throat> right, six shots hitting on threes. Uh, that is three Lovely. ones, like that. Sadly, no exploding sixes. Uh, and these are running on twos. So, three more wounds. Two damage apiece. Three four ups. So, two more damage. Dink, dink, dink a 12. Every little helps. It does. Alright, let's. Do. Huh. Let's do the yeah. breaches. So we'll go with the breaches with the heavy arc rifles. So it's eight shots from these boys. I do apologize. I've got to roll to see if I beat the. Uh, oh yeah, the battle round. Yeah, it doesn't. So he yeah. doesn't get it back. So I am on three. The player. Cool. Right. So this is the heavy arc rifle. I really should be looking at my stratagem. See if anything actually useful. I only have one CP. So. Hmm. Pardon me, right. I'll try and up the mic be useful later. Hmm, there, there. Right. So, heavy eye rifle. Four, eight shots from the two of them. Hitting on fours because I've moved. These are all going to Carlos Fake Weaver again, sorry. Uh, -huh. uh that is. Four hits. Nothing special on that. It's only vehicle four plus, but you're not a vehicle. So, fives. Yeah, just the one wound. Uh, minus two, flat three. Four up. Saves. It's that one. Yeah, right. Let's see what the. Uh, that is. Floppy hat that makes him the Tech Priest Dominus. What does he have? He has an. He helps if I actually look at what he's equipped with. Uh, Phosphor Serpenter and a Volkite Blaster. Let's have a look. It's Phosphor Serpenter. One shot. Hitting on a three. Misses. Well done. Hey! And a Volkite Blaster. Three shots. Hitting on threes. All hit, thank you. Uh, strength 5, but dev wounds. See, T9? T10. T10, so I need 6. So 6 is a dev wounds, basically. Nothing there. Okay, worth a try. Alright, that's them done. Uh, let's move on to this boy. Really, I need to kill at least one of these greater demons. You do. Alright, so... Let's pull them up. On a Gadoon Crawler. Neutron laser. We'll do the heavy stubber first. So you've shot one of the onages, yeah? yeah? One, one of the Doom Crawlers has shot. This yeah. is the next one. So this is the heavy stubber, six shots, hitting on threes, because I stood still. Ooh. I'm glad I got the bad rolls out of the way with this Yeah, one. man. Oh, sustained hits one, that was a six. So, wounding on sixes. Yeah, got a wound. Mm. One damage. Does he have, what's his toughness? It's six up, so... Yeah, yeah. so four have been rolled anyway, innit? Yeah, so he it does go wound. through. So he's taken 13, yeah. seven left. That was uh, Tracer Fire. Now for the big gun. So hitting on threes, two shots. Both hit. Both but hit. Sadly, no uh, explodings. Makes me sad. Right, uh, strength 16. So we've got threes. Ah, uh, only one. All right. That's good. Four up. Four up. I can't come on reroll it. Ooh, no. it does go through. Get a load. Six plus one. Four again. Mm. Uh, so he's taking 17. 
I hope I kill him and he just explodes and kills everything there. That'll mm -hmm. be funny. They will make me feel better about life. Right, um, other heavy shooting over here. Pretty much just the tank. So we'll see what you've got. Right, so we've got the Belarus Energy Cannon, three Cognis Heavy Stubbers, and a Disruptor Missile Launcher. Nice. Could kill him. Yeah, uh, we'll put the Energy Cannon, it's indirect. We're going to try and kill some of these boys, just try and get okay. rid of them. Uh, and then everything else into Kairos, just try and finish him off. Uh, am I within 18? I am not. It's just three shots with the Stubber. Here we go. Stubber could, time. Could kill him. Heading off, please. Mm, Two hits. Can't kill him. Sixes. One wound, mm. not minus. Four up, 50 50. It oh, does go through. Oh, God. Chipping them down slowly. Right, then the disruptor missile launcher. Three shots, hitting on threes. That's two times. All misses. Two. Oh. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm not using the red dots. time, y'all. Look. So. All right. Uh, and then the indirect fire into the uh, Nurglings. So 2d6 shots. Seven. Uh, not blast, there's not enough of them. Five, six, seven shots. Plus one, minus one, so I mean, all uh, fours. Plus three. Oof. Ooh. All right, three hits. Uh, it, What's the strength? Strength seven, so twos. <laughs> Two wounds. Neck two, not you care. My save is a seven up, but I have a six up in one. Uh, two down, two, two wounds to them. Two wounds. Yeah, eight. Oh, I've still got the plasma over here. We will kill that person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's start with the Tech Priest Manipulus with his Magna Rail Lance. One shot. Hitting on a three. Into him. He hits. <laughs> it is strength seven, so I'm wounding on a five. Five, yeah. Yes. It does wound. Uh, minus a million, not that you care. Flat three damage. Come on, baby. No. Oh, I failed it. That is flat Just three. kill him. Uh, do I, I don't have a command reroll, do I? Have you used okay. it? I used it up. He doesn't explode. Killed the demon. Okay, yeah. he took a lot of shooting. Yeah, took, I could have done with at least one thing shooting something else instead of him, but mm, what can you do? Yeah. And I would have overcharged shot. No, now I wouldn't have overcharged him because he had three wounds left, so the other shots are wasted. Uh, right, let's move over to here then. So let's go with Cole. He's going to blast uh, Bella Court with the Solar Atomizer. Up. So it is D3 shots. Shall I move this over here? Yeah. Just okay. space for it. Is nah, it right put there? it there. Put it there. Cool. So D3 shots. Two shots. Uh, you're sitting on twos, minus one because you're in combat, so hitting on threes. Both hit. Both hit. It is strength 14, so I am moving on Double threes. 10. Uh, Ooh, that's good. Right, I'm not getting the brace where I need them here. Alright. Um, Castellan Robots, I'm going to put the three Flamers into the Flamers for maximum flame reception. Mm -hmm. uh, and then all the heavy shots are just going to go into Bellacore, trying mm -hmm. to take him out. So we'll do the three Flamers. I get my makes of five hits. The dice, they've abandoned me. I'm strength six, so we're on threes, I think. It took us four, yeah, it's four wounds anyway. Yeah. On the Flamers. Oops. I've lost that dice. Uh, four four ups. Saves all but one. So one takes a wound. There we go. Then one. Whee! Two. Three phosphor blasters into Bellacore. Uh, they are actually in combat with him, so I believe they're just hitting on fours. Hup. Right. So fours are rolling ones, nine shots. Here we go. Were well, they doing it on the hit on threes? Uh, yes. Oh no, they're not fours. Do you get a nice one here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so five. There. Yeah, I know. We'd go. Mm, not bad. Uh, so one, two, three, three. hits thus far. You're re rolling. Oh, if only I was hitting on fours. Look mm. at that. Re rolling the twos. Oh, thank oh, you. I'll take that. It. Five hits. Uh, it's only strength six, I think. So fives yeah, again. So fives. Rob's breaking the joint. Two. Two wounds. Two damage apiece. Uh, four up in bonds, so he saves one, he takes two. Yeah, that's okay. Slow chipping him down. Uh huh. Alright, and then we've got the two last cannons on the. Oop. On the chickens. The iron strider This is where three. you need to spike, because if you don't get them, yep. you can't kill him. So I'm in off, I've got two shots in off fives, but they are sustained hits one. So right. let's see two sixes, please. Nope. Nope, Yay. that's two twos. 
That is not two sixes. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, that is shooting pretty much done, I think. So charging. Okay. Do you know what you're doing? But uh, yeah, Paul's going to yeah. charge the. Oh wait, I've got a pistol on these boys. Sorry, I've got one thing left to shoot. Is he not in combat though? Yeah, he's got a pistol. Oh, he's, he's going to put it into the. So he's just going to shoot the horrors. And da, da, da. yeah, just a pistol. So he gets one shot hitting on three hits. Uh, strength six, wounding on a two. Oh, that's it's just wound. Devastating Death. wound. It's just one mortal. Oh, uh, can, I can take it on a blue horror car. I think you have to take it on the pink horror while still alive. But okay, we'll do that. Um, does he explode? Does he split? He does. So. Papity pap. All right. Okie dokie. And Cole will charge them. He's in with He's six. And are you charging Junk. anything else? We'll charge the chickens into these boys. Okay. Might do some damage. They're in with a ten. I mean, I could overwatch half, half them. Straight in. Do I overwatch them? Well, a ten inch. He's got three wounds left, doesn't he? Yeah, one has three left. Yeah, I will. I will overwatch. I've got enough CP. I've enough move to push them around, so we'll go right round and tackle the objective. So just take this while I. Yep. Uh, sorry. <laughs> All right. 3d6. 11. Not bad. Could kill one. If I can kill one, that is. Um, it'll be wound on fives, won't it? Yeah, t7. Uh, strength four, yeah? Fives. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four at minus one. Uh, I want to say four ups. Give me a moment. Yes, four ups. So you need to fill three of them. Thank you. Of course great. I will. Because my dice Does it blow up? My dice are definitely going against me at the minute. Uh, Do they blow up? Good. Well, he didn't anyway. I'm assuming you're taking the back one. Uh, I, I have to take that one because he, uh, he, he, he was the one who was damaged. Right, okay. You the one couldn't get around. All right. Okay. Right. Uh, any other charging? I'll charge for Laxie. No. <laughs> yeah. No, no more charging. That is it. So, combat. Of its call into yep. the pink horrors. Yep, so I'm starting with his uh, old Nissian axe, so four attacks hitting on twos. That is four hits, I'll mm -hmm. take that. Uh, strength eight. A four. Toughness three. Three, that's all, twos. Uh, three wounds. Four ups. Uh, there was an option. Oh, there was a six there. Uh, that's one mortal wound. Okay, so one dies. So, and then two, four ups. Saves them both. Yep. So, does he explode? He does split. Uh, yeah, another two pinkies. So he goes and then chuck us a pink. Yep. yep. Fine. Cool, right. Then four attacks from his arc scourge, hitting on twos. Uh, I'll move, I'll hit. Uh, so this is strength five. So threes. Yep, oh, that is oh. two wounds and another devastating. So one damage. <laughs> And then one so save. So just one save, yeah. yeah. That does save that. So does he split? I don't have any more blue horrors out of the box, so we might have to... It does split, okay. So, um, yeah, okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll remember that one pink is dead and there's two yeah. blues in this place. I'll just lay one down. Lay one down, yeah. 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 Right, so this is the Mechadendri Hive. 2d6 attacks. Eight. Not bad. It's yeah. fine. Two, four, six, eight. This one is hitting on threes. Oh wow! All right, don't buy red dice, kids. Uh, strength four, T three, so threes. Oh, dear lord! My dice just like, nah, you're not killing anything. Not this today. Time. No. All right. Right. I'm going to attack you back with Bellacore. Who's just... going to do better this time? Well, technically, I have to do the Bella Starry first. Well, it's, it's pretty much yeah, nothing. Yeah. But... Throw them in. So I try to feed there. Three attacks, fours. One hit, which does wound. No minus, one damage. Four up. Yes, there we go. Is it. Handily. Right. So, bella, 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 go. I do have one CP. Can I do anything here? Mm. I mean, they should die now. They should die. Bella, go. I'm talking to you, kid. Shall I roll it? Is there anything you yeah, think? Just a quick look. Yeah. Six attacks. Right, I'm just, I'll just roll it and then. You found anything? Shooting phase, no. Yeah. 
There's one that's minus one to wound, but it's excluding vehicle units, so yeah. no. No, okay, okay. No, carry on. So, no ones, please. Three ones, please. Lethal hit. Sixes, please. Two wow. ones. Ugh. <laughs> Come on. T9. Right, Test strength. 14, so threes. Ugh, I'm going to command reroll one. I have to. Alright. Yeah, so let's get it. Three, I'm down to one. Uh, CP. Five up in wounds. Oh, Saves it. Come on. Saves it. Oh, Rob. Ah, oh, one goes through. So, uh, D6 plus. One's got three wounds, yeah. so don't get one. One. Oof, ah, only just. Only just, just though. Die. One goes down. Okay. That was pitiful. Cool. Uh, right, so I choose to fight next, so I'll go with the uh, robots. Mm -hmm. Three, six attacks. Um, might as well punch Bellicor some more, try to do some damage. Yeah, yeah, just chip some wounds. Also, I completely forgot that uh, these guys have had exploding sixes on the shooting for the entire game, but oh well, it's too late now. <laughs> right, uh, hitting on fours. Rerolling rolling ones for call. That is a magnificent two hits. <laughs> <laughs> Strength 12, so threes. They do wound at least. Minus two, flat three. Uh, four ups. Saves them both. Yay! It's the slapping each other with pillows again! Oh, I've right. A, oh, I've got a power fist on this dude who will just go into the horrors. He gets two hits. He gets one wound. Oh, I'm running a lot of ones here. Four up. No. Nope, so it kills another horror. Uh, I just lay another one down and when we. Does he pop? Does he split? That's a good point, because we can just remove him. If not, it doesn't, nope, so sorry. let's just remove one. Well, it's gone. Lovely. Right. right. Uh, I get to attack both my flamers. Um, so that is nine attacks. Three, six, nine. Hitting on fours. Not great. Wounding on fives. Just the one. Cool. Uh, no minus? No. Of course he fails it. <laughs> <sighs> Takes a wound. Yeah, this one is down to four, I think. Right, that's okay. the end of your turn. You are in shadow of, in the warp with the robots now, so you need to take a test. Is it, a, is it at the end of your my turn? Is it at the end of... Is it just a generic battle shot test? For being yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beginning of your. I'm not below half. I'm not below half because there was five to begin with. There's three of them still. I thought there was six. Dead Smith. Oh, there was five, there was wasn't five. there? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm being stupid. Uh, yeah, I won't take it yet anyway. So yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. So, right. I'm going to I'm I'm toss Air and Isle and gain a CP for that. And it's over to you. Cool. Right. We'll come back with my turn. Three, four, four, four. four. Okay. We'll come back. Okay, okay, turn four. It's a close one. It's very close. Okay. I feel like I should be ahead, but I've been hideously unlucky with some things which have just hurt. So I've got to take this objective off these guys. Uh, so the Nurglings have dropped in there six inches away because of Shadow in the Warp. We have it now. Uh, the Bloodthirster, because these don't have OC, the Bloodthirster has to um, move in. Yeah. Can't finish them off. Yeah, yeah, he does have to. Uh, uh, Shalaxi's just moved up. She's going to try and kill these and then get a charge onto them. And then the Nurglings haven't moved. Do I move them? I'll think about that one. They hold the centre of the board, so possibly not. Uh, Bellicor's not doing anything. They're not doing anything. And that is that. Blah, blah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Bellicor is going to open up. He's going to overcharge. He's going to put 12 shots into the chicken. Yep. Try and blow it off the face of the earth. Hitting on twos. Threes, you might as well hit, remember? Because you are shooting at a vehicle in combat. Okay, hitting on twos. You don't make a huge amount of difference. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, strength six, and these ones are mortal wounds. So we're looking for sixes. Yeah, T7, see it on fives. Uh, that is one. one and four saves. Four. So it could. Minus. Kill it. Minus three. Ooh, that's fun. Uh, sixes. So no sixes. Oh, well, yeah. Don't worry, it's going to be all sixes. No. It's still dead. Does it blow up? Yes, explode. Ooh. It does not. Alright. Okay, one chicken down. And they're Oof. not. I 
don't I don't know how I feel about the chickens. Um I think the melee ones would be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't it, think you've got any, sadly. No. I think we had some unpainted ones, but uh Right, the Bloodthirster is gonna put his D6 flamer into these guys. Torrent five, lovely. One, two, three, four, five. Shred five. T3, so threes. Oh, oh my yeah. word. One. It does save. I assume, I assume it's at least not minus one. Yeah. To be fair, I could run with you killing. Ideally, I could run with you killing them all, because then you wouldn't be able to charge on the objective, but you know. Still yeah. on you. Alright. Right, Shalaxi. Oh, I didn't roll um, Devastate in. Oh, yeah. It does. Hazardous. Right, right, yeah, hazardous. Right, she's going to put her uh, weapon overcharge into these guys. If I can spike. I could kill them. Alright. Uh, D6, I have to get lucky though. <laughs> that is not lucky. That's not lucky. Oof. I will... I will command re-roll it. Cause... Always going for it. Yeah. Dun dun dun! Boop! Two! Five. Ah. Not bad. Five. Hit on twos. Uh, Sustained hits three. This is sixes, please. Ooh. I'll stop showing off. So that <laughs> is. So that is that three extra. Three per additional, hit. so that's nine additional hits. Oof. Oof, this could be game changing if I can kill this unit. That was that was very lucky. Strength nine. Yeah, it'd be threes to wound on those lads. Yeah, that bounces out a little bit. Uh, they're devastating, so three devastating. They miss. Oh, that was a hit. That was a five, yep. Uh, misses, there misses. That's what four saves. Minus? Um, minus two. So it comes minus one for protective doctrine, so fours. Uh, save two, so five go through, damage. D3. Cool, I, yep, so only five D3, and I have my fuel of pencil. So these are, the, these are the ones that aren't. Oh, they all go through anyway, don't they? So I just yeah. roll them. So yeah, be five D3 more fools. Big numbers, please. Oh. Yeah. So. What's that? Three, six. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Oh, that's right, I can make thirteen. I can make thirteen five of fail paint, no problem. Just watch this. No. <laughs> <laughs> One dead, two dead, uh, then three six. I'll just check how many wounds the. Uh, Depends on whether the tech priest has four or five wounds. Yeah. Four went through on him. Four went through, that's right. So I'll just double check his wounds. Don't mean to be fair, you could probably. Oop. Dun 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 dun. That is the. Uh, he's the fat lad, isn't he? It's the Dominus. Four wounds. So he's dead. Exactly enough to kill him. Beautiful. Boom. Beautiful. That Oop. was. Uh, very nice. You broke it. You oh, broke no, one. We broke Their token had mech break. I got really lucky there, but it probably balanced out. I I admit openly that I I looked out big time. Um, mm, 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 mm. Bellicor shot. Yep. Pink horrors can't shoot. Um, can they? Some no, they're not pistols. They're shots. They can shoot now, but. They won't be able to shoot anyone as everyone's in combat, that's right. You could it? shoot the uh, the robots because robots of their vehicles. True. Minus one hit and you claim us. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. Uh, 3d6, so 7, 10, 3, 6, 9, 10, 59. Uh, strength 5, so 5s. Just a 1. one. Oh. I've failed it anyway, so one damage. Oh no. One is down to six. Uh, new. Okay. Right. That is that shooting? all my shooting. Charging. Charging. Right, we're ready to fail them all again. Yeah. It would be very what's, positive. What's the, what's the range on this thing? I do have a free. It's a six. Yeah, six. Okay. <coughs> Might as well do it here because all the combat's over this side, all the exciting combat. Six. Oh, I failed. And he can, can re-roll because it's a vehicle. Do oh, oh my no. God. On the Come plus, on. Maybe on the plus side, I can't overwatch her now. No, true. Yeah. Um, right. You're going to go to the blood thirster, yeah. the four inch. He's yeah, in. there we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I mean, mean do you I'm, just want to take him off? No, yeah, we'll see Rolls and Dice. Let's see what he can do. Let's see, see what he does. Let's put him through his paces. Yeah, he hasn't hit anything yet. He's just kind of been meandering around and failing charges. Yeah, like all of my guys. Right. I mean, I'll do 16 attacks. So, sorry, 14. Three, six. So, I mean, nine, these guys have a six spin ball, you know. 12, right? 14. 16, six, six. I don't. I actually don't want to kill him because I want the relentless carnage to you finish You just want to do that for the hell of it. Uh, hit in on two, I imagine. Woo! Oh dear. I mean, that is an obscene amount of ones. That's ah, right. Bounces out the ones I got last turn. Right. Yeah, uh, strength eight. Yeah. Uh, T3, unsurprisingly. So, so two. Twos, so we don't want to see the same amount of ones. Oh my word! Oh wow. Uh, Five. Minus. Two, one damage each. I now mean, six spin rolling on these lads, so you never know, I might roll three sixes. Nope. That was that was only exactly enough to kill them though. Come on, Bloodthirster. You can do better bloop, bloop, than bloop. that. Bloop. Right. Alright. Can they can consolidate on to no, the they didn't charge. Uh, they didn't do a charge. But he move, can so cut it. He can hold it. Half it's three, isn't three it? Three inches, yeah. So Okay, uh, that please. is not the end of my turn because you get to attack back. Do you want to yep. pass me uh, the... Pass you the camera and get some dice? Okay, Rob. All right, we've got all bits into Velocor. Six attacks now, we're getting, we're getting pulled down. On fours, we're rolling ones. That's cool. Why can't the sixes be exploding? That would be really nice. That would be nice, yeah, it would be very Wounding on threes. Ooh. Two more wounds. Three damage piece. Go on. Four. Two twos. Oops. Two twos. Two twos. Ooh. Uh, three more damage. We're plinking him. He's taken uh, ten. Ten wounds. So he's so, what, halfway to dead? He, no, he's over halfway. He's got oh. eight wounds left. Ah, fair enough. Well, he has to take battle shot test now. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I suppose technically you get to fight back with the horrors. Or Belkar. I think I'll attack back with... Uh, no, I'll do... Yeah, the, no, what am I Oh, about? wait, sorry, I've got... Hold on, sorry, I've got two attacks with the data smith, I always forget. Uh, just going into the horrors with his power fist, he hits once, he wounds. Four up. He squishes no. one, finally. Does it come back? It does not. It does not, okay. So another Let's one. take one off. Splattered. Okay, um, do we have any. So how many pinks have I got now? You've got two or three pinks left. And then three, one, pinks. Two, three, four, five, six, eight blues. So three, put, three pinks, eight blues. I'll put them into. Uh, can I put them into call? Uh, we're assuming that's two blues. That are, yeah, that's uh, two so, blues. So you've got two, three, four, five. You can get six blues into call. The rest okay. will have to go into the raw bits. Yeah, yeah. So it, six it, blues into call. Hitting on fours. All no, miss. Maybe not. Three pinks into the robots hitting yeah, on three threes. Pink. And two blues. Uh, two hits. Twenty nine. Probably not. No. Four. And then two blues. Into the robots. Two blues. Both hit. Sixes, I assume. Nope. There we go. Right. Uh, so now it's calls to next technically, so we'll go up and as we'll do that. Punching into the horrors. So four attacks with his omniscient axe. Or hit. Uh, we'll do on twos. There is three wounds. Uh, four up saves for you. Saves two. One. Does he explode? <gasps> he does. He does. So, so I'll lay another one so down. Lay another one down. Yeah. One. yeah. And huh. yeah. So that is essentially two more blue horrors. Yep. Right then, the four for the arc scourge. It's such a tap it out there. I know. No. Four hits. Strength five. So it'll be threes. Oof. Oh wow! One wound. <laughs> And he does yeah, that one. <laughs> then 2d6 mechadendrite attacks, 11, that's and more that's like very good. This is Eight. low strength though, isn't it? Yeah, strength 4. 8, 9, 10, 11. So, hitting on 3s. Uh, right, that's uh, yeah, not too bad. Mm. Uh, strength 4. Uh, 2 3, 3s. Three. Uh, right, another 4. Mm. This is... This will go into the pinks, won't it? Oh, uh, yeah. You have to do the pinks first, I believe. Uh, so it kills two, two which pinks. is the two remaining pinks, and do they split. split? No. Nope. So, so just take them off. So essentially, that unit is now. All blue. Yeah. Yep. Two, four, six, eight, ten blue horrors left there. Yes. 
Right, so now I get to kill you with Bellacore. No, All don't. being well. So, let's see. Come on, Bellacore. Ooh. Strength, six attacks. Hitting on twos. Oh, oh dear. I mean, it's enough. It's enough. Yeah, it's all you need. Right. One on threes. Twos. Ah. <laughs> right, don't spike right. five. Five pin rolls, one at a time. No, nope. yeah. one goes through. Saved oh. one. Saved two, oh. only one goes through. D6 plus yeah, one. You need, a, you need a five or a six to kill them. Uh, four damage. I will come and re-roll it oh, because it's, the, it's my last CP, but... Uh, just want to kill a robot. I just want to kill a robot that really annoyed it does Six kill damage, one. Yeah. It was it's worth it. They don't blow up, so I'm out of CP now. I for don't now. believe they do. I'll double check though. Whoop, whoop. Cast on robots. Abilities. Oh, they do explode. I mean, you kill. Try to just roll for them all. Just for what it matters. Uh, you've killed three. three of them, so one exploded. So one mortal wound to everything within six. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll just do a four up, fill up pain on. Yep. So he's fine. That one takes a mortal wound. Mm -hmm. He's down to six. So that's not a wound dice. He takes a mortal wound. I think he's down to two. Uh, one of your blue horrors takes a mortal wound. He's dead. It explodes. Oh, does he explode? Yeah. Does it pop? yeah. <laughs> no. So one blue horror dies. Okay. Uh, and then I think you'll get your flames over here. And Bella Cole will take one as well. Yeah. That's that. So up there. Three, no, there's three wounds each out. This one's not two here. Mm -hmm. And Bella Cole takes one. There you go. All good. Right. That is the end of the turn. All right. But you do get Storm Hostile Objective because you control that one. Yep. Uh, overwhelming Force. What's that one? Destroying an immunity on an objective, innit? So Which I did. Three yeah. points on that one. That's big for cool. me, actually, that turn. Oh, no, sorry, you, just, oh, you killed him as well. He was on yeah. the so you got two. So you got five points on that Oof. one. Big, big score. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, all right, we'll see what I draw. I mean, do you want to do it on camera? Why not? I get investigate signals. Uh, so that is getting into each corner of the battlefield and doing an action. Mm, doubtful, no. Tempting target. My opponent must select one objective in no man's land. I have to take it. Let me guess. It's the one with, <laughs> it's, on it. it's the one with Mr. Black Boy on uh, Yeah. Come take it. That actually worked out all right. Best um, case signals. I mean, at this point, I've got three CP. I'm going to spend one to dump investigate signals and redraw. Uh -huh. I get no prisoners. Uh, destroying enemy units. Be doable. Yeah, doable. possible. Yes. Okay. So I shall discard investigate signals and I instead. Um, you've still got some big vehicles. Yeah, but I've still got some damage going. But. You're going to be taking it. You're going to be trying to take a um, great demon a turn, I think, at this rate. Yeah, so, and, and, uh, yeah but there's three great demons. There's only two turns left. No. He will consolidate into him, obviously. Uh, yeah, right. Right. So, Battle Shock. <coughs> Do I have to now. Right, so I'm just going to get my turn four, so... He will be affected by yeah, that. Yeah, my Castellan yeah. robots will need to do a bar shot test. So they are minus one. Uh, they fail it. So they take D3 mortal wounds. They take one mortal. Yeah. So the robot takes a wound. He's will the five. other guy, will he have to... No, I, think it, I assume it's the unit takes a wound. Uh, yeah, I think it will so be. That's just them. They're not, well, they are below half, so they will need to do one as well. They also failed, but they're not. They're not in shadow in the wall. In your area, so, so that's fine. They just can't have strap. And he's not yeah. below half. He's fine. So that is that. Cool. Uh, right. So primary. Yes. So I control my objective, and I control your objective. So I get a big pile of points there. Right. As so I have attempt to target and no prisoners destroying units, which is obnoxious and hard when you've got. Yeah, because I've only got really giant units. You could go for the yeah, Nurglings. I can, I, can murder, I can murder Nurglings. Hmm. Murder. Right. So I'll come back after my movement phase then. Yes. Hey Rob, turn four. Yeah, cool. So, not much I've got left to do with here. So, uh, Cole is doing his reroll wounds, wounds to wound again. Uh, every, everything here is staying in combat because we can shoot. We'll mm -hmm. just try and squeeze out what damage we can. Uh, I went with the assault, uh, the assault doctrine for this one. So all my weapons have assault. Uh, these guys have advanced and moved around to get shots off on these guys because I drew 
you know, I'd room no prisoners, so I need to kill units. Then everybody here has just moved up to all focus on Shalaxi, because I, again, I need to kill something. And the, uh, those guys are just solidly taking Johnny's objective at the back there. Just being like, haha, this is mine, I score primary off of it. Yes. And that's basically all I can do. So, it all comes down to whether I can, pretty much, if I can kill Shalaxi. I think if you kill two sets of Nurglings and Shalaxi, you'll, you'll be in a, I think you probably won. Mm, it's a Pro one. Probably. Um, we'll yeah, see. it's no, it's no, no small order. All right, so we'll start shooting. <coughs> Straight in. Excuse me. So we'll start with we'll start with these boys. Everything to the nerglings. I am overcharging because why would I not? Uh, so that is custom robots. We don't want those yet. Catch from destroyers. So I've got two cognis flamers. We'll do them first. Two flamers. I get eight hits. I'll take that. Two, four, six, eight. Strength four. Comes three, so threes. Ooh, that's not amazing. So four wounds. So four, six ups. I get none. Oops, sorry. Just kill Overch one and put one on two wounds. Yep, and then I will overcharge my plasma cauldrons because I need the two damage here. Mm -hmm. So eight shots hitting on my fours. Oh, I can still kill them. Yeah, two hits. Oh, uh, I can. Putting on two, strength eight, both wound. So, six up. Invulns. Six, please. Nope. Nope, so that's four damage. Let's kill one. Thankfully, one, I've two. still got the... Uh, ah! I still have the Tech Priest Manipulus with his Magna Rail Lance. Would he have been able to see them? Let's get the laser out. Yay. He's a... <laughs> Let's see. From edge of his base to him, he's not touching the terrain there, you agree? See yeah, on the yeah, corner? yeah, yeah. And he only does three damage, so. Mm. I have to wait, though. So, one shot, hitting on a three. This is big. He it hits. hits. Uh, wounding on a two. He does wound. So, six up in volume. Three damage. Six up. Uh, it's nope. a four. So, so he does die. kills them. Ah, oh, thank God, I scored some secondary points. Nice. Right. And then this <laughs> into that. This is probably a bad idea and I'm probably not going to kill him, but I don't really have much choice at this point. Um, you <laughs> might, you might. I mean, I will put the stratagem on her because it makes sense. I need her to survive. Yep. Mm. All right, I am gonna spend two C of my three CP here. Uh, on lethal dosage, which is plus one to wound, one unit. And we'll do that on the tank, I think, because he has the most shots. And I shall start with that tank. Scorpius Disintegrator. So, Belarus Energy Cannon, 2d6 shots into Salaxi. Seven, exactly average. Yep. Two, four, five, six, seven. Heading on falls. I can't see you, so no indirect penalty. Uh, that is okay. Four hits. Strength seven. Toughness ten. So fives now fours with the plus one to wound. Good catch. Three wounds. Didn't do any difference Three there. Wounds. Four ups. Save two. So roll one the one. Takes. one. One damage. Uh, five up. Feel no pain. Yep. Abductions. Uh, right. Uh, I have the Cognis Heavy Stubber. So this is six shots. On oh, fours again. Uh, yep, this is sustained hits one, so those miss. One goes back in. Mm -hmm. Strength four, so fives to wound with plus one. Ah, two wounds. Not bad. Saves one, reroll the one. Nope. Uh, how up. many wounds? One Just one damage. Just one. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Go, Shalexi! <laughs> Alright, uh, disruptor missile launcher. Three shots into Shalexi. Uh, one hit, marvellous. Uh, strength nine, so it would be five, five now fours. Yeah. Nope, doesn't wound. Uh, oh, it's twin linked, sorry, so re rolling. Does wound. Does wound. Uh, it's d6 damage. Fail this one, please. Thank you. Does fail. Oh my god. <laughs> does she? Uh, I do. No. Uh, no, she doesn't worth. ignore it. It's not worth re rolling that, I don't think. How many CP you got? You can't. One left. Yeah. If I would have done, it would have been a five. God damn. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Now I'm just going to be sad for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. So I want to do the, the two Dune Crawlers together. 
Uh, so let's do these all together. So we've got one and so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve shots. This is the Cognitive Heavy Stubbers from both of these boys. Everything into him. Her, it, let's not assume. Yep. Uh, hitting on fours. Uh, right, oh, that was a miss. I bumped it. Oh, and that was also still a miss. Yeah, I misses. And then uh, three explodings. But I am wounding on sixes here. No plus one to wound. And yep, two wounds. Bad. Two. Uh, four ups. Yep. She does have a five up save, actually. Uh, both go through. Oh, five up. Ignores both of them. Boom. Obnoxious! Yeah, right. Daedalus missile launcher. Here you are, four. Hits. Strength 10, so fours. You are not flying. I don't they're not flying. No, uh, she does anyway. Fly. Uh, Minus four two is up. plus one. Go. Oh. Makes that one. Kill one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the smaller rocket launcher. Hits four times, moving on five. Does a three hit? Was there a three in there? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll take one out, reroll those. Fives. Yeah, one anyway. Uh, two damage. Just go through. Cool. Two damage. Yeah, I might do three. Ignores one. Ooh, I've done one. I've done two damage so far with two large vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you going to charge her? <laughs> I've still got the neutron laser. So two shots. Hitting on fours. One hit. Wounding on a three. Nope, of course not. Uh, our final reroll that with my CP. There you go, does wound. Go on. There yes. we go, make me sad. <laughs> so that is all my CP spent, and that's everything from there. I did two damage. <laughs> with three huge vehicles. Well, go Shalexi! Uh, right. I mean, I do have the. Uh, ah, but I do have a Tech Priest Engine Seer there. <sighs> With his architect pistol. He does have a good gun, doesn't he? He has an architect pistol. He has one shot. He misses. He misses. That's it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, over here then. So, uh, call. We'll try and shoot Bellicor. So I get D3 shots again with the solar atomizer. One shot. Where's that reroll? Oh, I used it earlier. Curses. Does hit. On a four. And we're on a three. Oh. And doesn't wound. Oh, Rob. Uh, right. You're rolling the red dice are back. Okay, uh, then that just leaves the bot. So, I've got one, two, three, four. Shots. We'll do the flamer first. It's into Bellicor. Three hits. Not, not great, not terrible. Uh, one wound, not minus, yada yada. <coughs> just got through. It's one damage. Whoop. I've got my five shots with his stack of guns. So, hitting on fives. Don't kill him. Rerolling ones. I get no hits. <laughs> cool. And then the pistol from this boy will start to go into the blue horrors. He does hit. And uh, doesn't wound. Oh. Cool. My shooting is doing nothing. Have you got anything else? No shooting. It's doing shoot. nothing. Nope. Uh, that is everything shot. Charging. Yeah, I'm going to charge a thing. No, I'm not really. <laughs> You can so you can't heroic, can, you, can you heroically intervene? Uh, not if I don't charge. Yeah. Which I'm not going to because I'm not sure? that much of a lunatic. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. You don't You don't want to? No, I think I'm good. Okay. All right, so... So I get to attack with Bellicor. Yep, so let's do this thing. I destroyed one enemy unit for two. That's depressing. Yeah. Empty target I don't get. Cool. I think you maybe should have targeted these boys. Maybe. Down, we'll just but, a few more points. But, yeah, yeah, but... who? Right, let's. Would have, would have been the smart thing to do. Let's we don't, we don't finish play. off these. This. It, it, a horrible combat. Don't roll four ones again. Okay, oh, that's go. better. That's three lethal hits. It's so. three lethal, yeah. So they. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll three five up in bones for you. There you go, I failed them all. Okay. So 3d6 plus three damage. Even at that, I think that's enough to kill it. Yeah. So. And what about the other guy? Uh. Wait, we got you got three other attacks to go through. So what yeah. was that? Three, four, five, five. Yeah, that will kill him. Yeah, and then three more. Maybe Does he have an inborn? Doubt it. This is a day it's missing. So yeah, he's two D six, yeah, yeah, he's dead. Boom. Cool. Bellacore finally killed something. You know, it took the mm. entire game. Yeah, it took way too long. <laughs> That's uh not, All right. not good. I suppose I can see if uh Cole can chew through the last of these blue horrors. Yes. So four attacks hitting on twos. Uh, with that raw green dice <laughs> I don't know where from. that came from right uh, wounding on his toughness 3 still uh, yep 
two I on think this one. so. But it one definitely doesn't. So two wounds. <coughs> uh, yeah, they, they all share the same. Uh, blue horrors, brimstone threes. Uh, just kill two. Yeah. Well, it's blue now, isn't it? So yeah, do they explode? Horse. They do. Okay, so lay down two blue for now. So we've got the pink have gone. Yep. Yep. And we've got what? Um, so we've got three, three blue blues, three and blues four and two, and two brimstone, yeah. All right, so the uh, other attack, Arc Scourge. Uh, hit, oh, just hit on two, so I'm going to do four hits. Uh, Strength five, so threes, three wounds. Four ups. Does he save two? Does he explode? He does. Not explode, but you know what I mean. So he goes, but there is. Yep. Right, and then 2d6 attacks with the Mechadendrites. Seven, two, four. In theory, it could clear them. Probably will. Hit on threes. Yeah, five hits. Mm. Uh, exactly enough to kill them. Uh, wounding on threes. threes. Strength four. Nope, so three wounds. Three, four ups. Oh. Ugh. All right. Uh, that is it. We get to take you back. I'm sure they'll be deeply effective. <sighs> yeah, I don't know whether I should even bother. What is it hitting? I'll discard that. Then. Two blues. Uh, miss. And then how many yellows? Three yellows. Yeah, three brimstones. Three brimstones actually get better attack. What is that about? <laughs> so they get two attacks each. Hitting on fives. One hit. One hit. Strength two, so Strength it'll be eight. six. Eee! Oh, two up. Oh. Okay. Right. right. Okay, that is the end of your turn. Yep. All right, on to turn five in the final. Yarth. Sue. So. Oops. Add your points up, so you control one. To no man's land, and that's it. Uh huh. Not bad. Now you draw your missions. See what you get. This is probably critical. Engaging all fronts. Yep. Should we, should we be able to get at least three on that? That would be really difficult. Eh? Secure no man's land. Yeah. That's good. Yep. Controlling one and two in no man's so land. So I'll get five DP automatically for that, won't I? Pretty much. Yeah. All right. What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to come back and hand you the camera because I am clueless. Okay, pivotal turn five. It's gone all the way. I, I feel like I could have finished it early, but... Um, yeah, you just failed every charge. Yeah, ever. the charging was In bad. History. Uh, right, Bellicor has moved back here. I got engaged in all fronts and secured no man's land. I've secured no man's land already. Annoyingly, uh, I did move the Nurglings there, but annoyingly... Um, yeah, they can't control it. They can't control it, it so... Oh, I, oh, I do have a C. I can't do it now. I could have cast the CP to make it sticky. Can I move mm. Bellico back an inch? You've already spent it, boy. Okay. Um, I'll I mean, be sad probably, if that. I mean, you're probably going to win this anyway. Yeah, no, no, I, yeah, it's, it's going to be close. But I think you're yeah. going to win this. So if okay. if I lose, I should have spent the CP. I spent a CP to advance Bellico down here to clear this objective. I okay. didn't need to, but it made my charge smaller. I got a one. But really. To guarantee the game, I should have cast the sticky objective on this one, which allows my bloodthirster to move up and do stuff. That was dumb, Johnny. So, and then these guys have edged round the screening this objective, so uh, he can't get to it. Basically, he's, he's stuck in combat, etc., etc. All right. Um, right. Oh, Bellacor passed his battle shock, yep. battle shock test, and so he, he got a wound back. So he's on at 11. Yes, his wound's just there. If well, he's taken 11, so... There's behind. Right, Seven so uh, he is going to overcharge, which is 12 shots on these boys. Is that a pistol? It's uh, not. So you can't do it because you've advanced. Oh, pant... Oh, God, that... <laughs> oh, well, it'll it's just, late. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he'll advance. That it was isn't. stupid. Um, yeah. If I fail the charge now, I'll be really miffed because uh, I should have won based on that. Right, we'll do 3d6 into... Uh, to call? Is this the flames? Yeah. Going swoosh. Uh, what's his toughness? Eight. So one, I think. So it'll be. Uh, is it? 
Your strength five? What do you get? Flailer? Strength four it might be now. <clears throat> strength four. Oh, no, so nothing then. You still complete. Uh, right, and then... Shalak is going to put her gun into uh, the character at the back. Oh no. But he's done so much this game. He's really, really participated. He healed one wound on Dune Crawler and um, stood there. So, should we will overcharge? Because why not? D6 shots. Five. Lovely. I mean, this guy's just out and out dead. Uh, that is five hits. hits. Strength nine. Yep, T four at least. Uh, he gets three at minus two damage. T three. Cool. Let's pull him up. Uh, he has a five up invul. So three, yeah. Three five ups. Made one. So two D three damage. He has three wounds. So just don't roll the ball one. Two. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, I got it. Okay. And fine. then the bloodthirster will do. Um, Going to set the uh, on the green crawler. On yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't even need to. There's no point. It won't make it. Uh, it will actually because she will charge. Um. Yep. So it's D6 shots into it. The big two. Lovely. Toughness ten. Nope. Nope. Cool. Okay. Right. Um. So <coughs> charges. So she's going to multi-charge into these. Lovely. I would overwatch, but you made it more expensive. In fact, should, <laughs> should she just... Yeah, no, she won't. She'll just do this one. Because then she can consolidate into the objective, can't she, and, and take it. Uh, with, if she's in combat, she won't be able to. So that makes more sense. Should be able to get in after she kills him. Um, Right, and then Bellacor, who, if this fails, I will be seriously miffed because I should have won the game on this, but it was just late and I've made a dumb play. So, I need probably a five. Uh, yeah, I'll see in. That's good. Yeah. That would have been that would have really sucked if uh, that didn't come off. So, we'll do Bellacor because he's. Um... Okay, that's the exact amount of dice. I'm not. I didn't do my um, devasta uh, devastating roll on Shellax here. I will do. Uh, so 14 attacks hitting on twos. A few ones. Strength six. Uh, yep, T4. Oh, sorry, strength eight. So a wound on twos. All Double. the wounds, minus three. How many is that? Um, good question. That is. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Lovely. I do have a fire pin one. But I don't think it's enough. No. Mm, no. Damage. Either. Damage at least two, I presume. Just one. Oh, just one. With the two wounds each. All right. So that is one, two, three of them dead. Cool. Yeah. I'm not going to hold the objective. No, he does have OC five, and they will probably. Yeah, they're only OC one, but they're still alive to do an objective for the next turn. So yeah, fine. yeah. Next um, few points, right, Shalaxi. She is going to do her snapping claws into. I don't know whether she'd have been able to kill both of them, possibly. So she rerolls all hits and wounds and damage, so she probably would have done. Shall I just for a laugh? No, not allowed. Charge no, into both of them. Do it if you want, it's fine. I mean, you've already put the gun off that one, so you might as well. Right. How many <laughs> wounds does... Right, okay, yeah, I'll put... I'll put the claws into this, and two attacks into that, and the other two in... four into that. Yeah, right, cool. And, and so this is the claws. So which one going to the disintegrator? Yeah. The Scorpius, cool. Hitting on twos. Yeah, so it's strength six. Thirty ten. So fives, fives. re-rolling because Shalax is tagging a character, nope, nope just one, minus, minus two, four up, he's fine, okay, and then the two, um, she does get to re-roll everything, oh, oh. Uh, strength 14, yep, so threes, it's three, yep, minus, uh, minus three, cool, five up, it's yeah. okay, he saves it. No damage to the. That was uh, stupid, I, I probably shouldn't have done that. 
and the other is others into the uh, crawler. Um, oh. oh dear, good job you can re roll those. Yeah. There we go. Turn 14. So it'll be threes. Rolling. There oh. you go. Minus three. Uh, four, four up in volts. I make two. Do that. Two go through. Damage. Damage D6 plus two. Probably so, good. and I can re roll these. Uh, so. Uh, that's six. He has. Uh, eight left, so that's what's real. I'll re roll it. I think you've killed him anyway. Yeah, you've killed him. Does he ask blood? He does not ask blood. Boop. Down goes one. Yeah, <coughs> didn't really. Oh. All that, that's left is In fact, that was kingdom. stupid. I've, made, I've messed up completely. I've, 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 yeah. Uh, what's left? Uh, fight wise, we've got call. I won't, I won't attack call. I'm not going to do anything to him. I'll attack then. Do you want to attack him? Do you want to do it off camera? Yeah, we'll do it off camera. Yeah, yeah. He should kill them in theory. Yep. But with my rolling, you never know. We'll be back. Uh, Alright, so for my turn five, I drew Bring It Down and deploy Teleport Homer for my secondaries, which isn't great. Uh, primary wise, I could just go to here for holding home objective. Uh, since Cold didn't, Cold brought these entirely down to Brimstone Horrors but didn't kill them all, so he's not going anywhere this yeah, turn. Yeah, there were five Brimstone Horrors left. So I, I can't get him onto this objective to score anything there. Uh, these guys did fall back to deploy Teleport Homers over there, otherwise they can't hold that objective, which loses me eight points, which is annoying. But what can you do? Uh, beyond that, that's about it, really. I can't do anything else on this turn. So I think that is game. So we shall come back with the closing comments. Cool. Good game, Rob. Yeah, well Good played. game. It was a, a, a <laughs> an unusual game because of the the weird style, like the t totally contrasting styles. Uh, do you want to give us the the score? Uh, yep. So uh, at the end of that game, it was Chaos and Demons fifty eight, Admech forty four. So, so it was, it was pretty close. close. Like yeah, it's pretty much neck and neck right up until that last turn. Yeah, you ran out of steam a bit because your vehicles just sort of got bogged down. Yeah, my vehicles didn't do any damage to Shalax when I really needed them to, no. and Cole just got bogged down under an enormous pile of brimstone horrors. Yeah. So I just couldn't get the output damage done where I needed it done. And, yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I was going to say Bellico was my MVP, but he absolutely wasn't. These boys were my MVPs. They were just gross. Like, they just held the middle of the board and just, they absorbed an obnoxious amount of shots, hits. Like, they were so good for the points. Like, stick them in the middle of the, in the, middle of the table and just invite people to come on to you and, and you can survive two or three turns. Like, Cole just got, and Cole's not a slouch in combat, is it? Like, no, it's not he, bad. Um, yeah, they were they were brilliant. Um, I mean, I probably, again, like I said at the start, I didn't know the best way to play the demons. I've probably got a better idea now. I was I was really unlucky with my with with the deep strike rule on turn two. Mm -hmm. I think it could have been a bit more one sided, which would have been a shame. So it was probably a good thing because it, it did make it more of a contest. If I'd have got my big guys in on turn turn two, I would yeah, have really hurt. Good. Yeah. So it's probably a good thing, but I mean, demons played well into Admech against other armies. I think they might come up short. I, I don't know. I mean, what what are your thoughts yeah, on Admech? Yeah, I think so. so uh, they're they're an interesting army. It's not. Like I said I could kind of see why they're not super powerful. I mean, uh, I'd say really, it's. I I say, it's a they, very. They've yeah, got they're, the they're, shooting. Yeah, they've got a lot of shooting. There's the potential there, but they are difficult to use effectively. Yeah. There's um. Especially into demons where there's a huge amount of four up invulns everywhere and you can't depend on your shooting to really do the damage where you need it. Yes. And pink horrors being bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they are. I can't deny it. Like, yeah, I think against another army, Admech may perform really effectively. And I think against a different army, Chaos might do really badly. With the high powered shooting that Admech offers, the four up in ones is super strong. Especially, like, I'd say Demons out of all the armies I've played have some of the con most consistently good stratagems. Like, they're mm -hmm. all really effective, sticky objectives, uh, re rolling ones on your invuln, making it, you know, that makes you spike in your save so easy. Uh, and you, you, I didn't use it this game, but you can. There's a teleport stratagem, so they've got some really strong stuff. Whereas the other armies, some of them have one or two good ones, but some of them are just are just pants. Um, 
Yeah, there's, yeah. A few, there's a few good have mech stratagems, but the problem is two of them are completely tied to your doctrine. You yeah. can't really use them. Yeah, which eliminates. Which is, means you're not, you're not running at full efficiency all the time. And I think in that game, really, I just kind of like screening units, really. I mean, I could do a lot of damage potentially, but once Johnny had pushed past the breaches and the other things that were in the way, he could just like tie down all the vehicles and I couldn't yeah. really do much about it. And once the demons mm. get into combat, they are um, just, yeah, they're just eviscerate things. Uh, Bellacore was a little bit underwhelming, but I think yeah, Rob what, just got lucky and I got four, a bit four turns to kill units of Yeah, robots. which is, but, but on, on a good day, he could have wiped them in one. That's just the, the look of the dice. Yeah, there it goes. But then uh, Shalaxi absorbed an, uh, an obscene amount of fire, and on another day, she could have died. You know, it's one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, Rob screened me well, um, but but in the end, they, the demons broke through because they are strong units. I don't know how you'd optimize this list. I have no idea because I, it didn't. Nothing went to plan that, that could have <laughs> gone to plan. Uh, but yeah. Pink Horus are the way forward for sure, and Bellacor because just the turn one um, it's been like, ah, ability turn one. It's is incredible. Like if anyone is thinking about not taking him, I think you seriously need to reconsider because that probably saved me the game. If I, I would say, like you would have done so much more, wouldn't mm -hmm. you, with with your long range shooting? Uh, so yeah, I mean, Kev's team was really interesting. It's one of those armies, and I'm sure Rob feels the same with Admech. You want to take them up against a different style of of opponent to see how they perform. Um, I'd yeah, I'd, I'd like to see demons against the marines because I think it would be a lot harder. But I'd like to put them to the test there and see. Even with the same list, it would be interesting. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's one for another day. Yeah. So to be fair, against anything that can deny deep strike, like infiltrators or anything like that, you're kind of in trouble because you can't do your. Stuff. Yeah, the the other thing I, I know we said that the deep strike thing hindered me the the uh, the rule, uh, but but also I got lucky in that the central objective got removed, so that meant yeah, I was so guaranteed yeah. shadow in the warp or not shadow in the warp chaos storm or whatever it is it's late, <laughs> um, which meant I had a fifty I just had to hold one objective and then I I, I had uh, my shadow across the board which yeah was was very strong. Uh, but Rob did a good job on turn two to deny it, which sort of yeah, he tactically slowed the game down, which was big, and I was a bit worried at that point, uh, especially with my failed deep strikes. But like the the strong units, he just didn't get enough damage on them, no. um, <laughs> and that that ultimately was why the game uh, game ended the way it did. But yeah, it was it was an interesting one, totally contrasting styles. I, I want to see Admech against something as well. Uh, I, th I think they could perform well again. It'd be interesting to put them up against Marines and see how they perform. Um, I, w I would like to see that, but that is for another day. We hope you liked the battle report. We we enjoyed this one. Um, yep, and we will uh, be back soon with another one. So if you liked it, please like and subscribe, and we will catch you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.